please do not hold us accountable for anything we may say that is not factual. This is purely for entertainment and we do not intend to maliciously hurt or disrespect anybody. It's a fast food podcast. 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 Season six. 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 This man had a time thing just the maybe we uh, maybe we don't get into it right now, but it's it's like the pod when we do a live pod, it's man had a time just times always goes fast, but yeah. When you realise oh shit, was doing the pod this time last week live, like then you realise time is just days just eating in, bro. And it's the build up to it as well, because you we we speak about it for, for weeks on end. Yeah. And then um and then it happens. Mm-hmm. And then it's over. Yeah. You know, do you know what I mean? But um, I will get to that. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure, for we'll get, sure. We'll get to that, we'll get to that. Um, interesting thing that came up in, it's just on a random one today, I was just like, um, isn't it nice when you get lusty with a chick, right? And she reciprocates the lust. You know, like she's... I feel like, you know, like sometimes you feel like maybe I'm being a bit too creepy because you know you're trying to get to know the person and that. and But you know, like, you just want to get their breasts out and that and you might be going over the top. But they're on it as well. They're on... So they're reciprocating the... Yeah. Uh, the lust. You know what I mean? Is it the lust, though? <sighs> you know... <sighs> what do you call it? Like... Garage? Uh, she's new... She's hot, yeah, and you and you're you're thirsty. You need a drink. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's lust, isn't it? I don't know. I, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I feel like lust is like, or oh, Drizzy, are you thinking of infatuation? But isn't infatuation mm. when you think you're in love but you're not? See, that's what I think infatuation is, right? Well, this is not. Well, this is not love. That's not it. But the lust, maybe it is lust. I don't know I why I feel like lust, lust. Lust is more. You just want to bend her over and deal with it. Yeah, yeah, time. yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Like lust, lust is when you're is word to hus. You're thinking with your penis. But it's, but what right. I'm what I'm saying to you is is as a man, as men, I feel like the level of lust you got to be careful with it, especially when it's a new thing. Yeah, well, you, you have can, to if you if you know how to read the room. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, yeah, that not everybody knows how to read. Yeah, no, because even with like that's a, a fortunate even, for even, them. even with the link here, you can't be moving bare horny straight away because nah, nah. that's raps. Why not? Nah. What? No, nah, man. Because the thing is, what? right? So, so, sometimes, sometimes you gotta. Have you not had a one night stand? It's not about that. I have had a one night stand, but it's a thing of like sometimes, sometimes they're testing your first touch. Berber. You get, not even Berber, Busquets. Okay, Can you perfect. beat the press? <laughs> but here's the, right because the thing is, it's like. You can you can test the waters without diving in. Literally. You can test the waters without diving in. Explain, and then, and elabor- it, elaborate. For an example, you if you're really reading the room, you're paying attention to what she's saying. She right. might be saying to you, oh, my boyfriend is this, 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 and the third. If you're really smart... Oh, shit, she got a boyfriend. If you're really smart, you're going to do some of the things she's complaining about. With her boyfriend. And it might be simple things like just telling her good morning in the, in the morning. Right. These little things here will get you closer to the finish line than just thinking yeah, all no. women operate the same. Yeah, 100%. Because there's times here where like certain women will like literally, they're feeding you bits of information indirectly where some will just not tell you anything at all. Right. Yeah, but what about this? What about just being upfront and saying, listen, when I see you, we're going to do a bit of a... Uh, because women, women aren't we're, like that. We're going to do, we're gonna do a bit listen, of spring women, cleaning. Women aren't forward thinking. Women like to play low blocks. No, no, yeah, no, but no, th- women it are, depends. Women are forward, some, women, some, some, women, some women like to stick it on you straight and you're like, rah, right. okay, Some cool. women know what they want in life. So they will tell you, listen, this is the situation. It's either I'm just looking for a, a short-term run or I'm looking for a long-term, not exclusive, yeah. no contract run. It's one or the other. When you find someone who's willing to tell you what they want, majority of the time, some of the men that don't know how to deal with those type of women will call them, ah, oh, my, girl's, my girl's a hoe. She's a thought. She's a, nah, she just knows what she wants. Right oh. now, she's in a state. She doesn't want a man. 
But at the same time, she wants to be treated and felt like a woman. And sometimes she wants that in or outside of the bedroom. Or you if just she's, have to know. If she's patient and she knows that she wants her for a long time, mum will call her stush. When really, she's just not in it for the quick thing. Yeah, but what's I'm saying? But, but what I'm saying to you is, yeah, I'm saying to you both is, the, re- the reciprocation of the lust is the innuendo, sexual innuendo. So you might not directly say, oh, let's go and let's beat on Friday night. But, the texting or the messages might be, are you are you prepared? You yeah, know, but some, sometimes you, that's just sometimes that's just my, all leave, my pipe leaves, dreams, my dreams, man. My leaves, my leaves need sweeping in the front garden. Sometimes that's just all just 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 pipe dreams, but sometimes they just talk just to match your talk. And when it's gold time, it's not. You just have to be careful, man. Sometimes <laughs> you have to not lead and switch it up. Go from the little. You know, ah, uh, um, I don't know. What's 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 a what's a random bar you, you you could drop something like I don't know. It's Friday night. What's on the menu that I can't right. get yeah, in the yeah, restaurant? But that's what I'm saying. Right, yeah, yeah. boom. Yeah, she might reply back or something like, "Oh, what are you trying to say? You're trying to get some cake, yeah?" Now we're cooking. Room, yeah, cool. Yeah. But then you don't keep that up all the time Man, unless she's naked in front of you. You don't keep it up all the time. You then switch it to a, oh, how's your day going? Yeah. What's going on? What's the plans for the weekend? And what you ask him what's the plans for the weekend, that's not even you trying to insert yourself or or, or intrude on a plan. As you're just that, asking. You're trying to, you are trying to insert yourself. No, no, no. You're not, you're, in this case, <laughs> you're not asking that to be part of a weekend. Right. You're just genuinely asking, how's your weekend? What's, what you got planned for the weekend? Right. Them little things, they all build up and become a cookie and then you get served, isn't it? So... You just have to know how to read the room, uh, do gentlemen. You, do you, have you had dreams? Have you had, do you still get dreams like that you that you've linked to Ting and you're beating it? Do you still have dreams like that? It's just something you want to say. I'm asking the question. I know, but it's just something you want to say because oh. I, I don't know. I feel like we've we. <laughs> I'm a, if I dream it, <laughs> have you had like like you you had wet dreams back in the day? I don't get wet dreams no more. I'm forty, it's forty six. But you still do, have you had a dream or do you still dream? That you're knocking something down. I'm gonna be dreaming about being like a billionaire and just balling out of control with my people. Them, yeah, it's the kind of dreams I'll be having. Yeah, but then if someone's next to me, mm-hmm. I might be dreaming of something that might involve them, and then wake up and then apply it. Yeah, but now, nah, man, wet dreams, nah. I mean, wet dream, wet dreams. <laughs> if you're still having wet dreams, that's. No, them type of dream, like, <laughs> bro, I be dreaming about life and shit, man. I ain't yeah. really dreamed about beating no one, bro. I mean, if I, I be dreaming about beating someone, it's multiple of them in the room. I've had dreams. I've had dreams in my adulthood where I'm just, I've closed my eyes and I'm knocking something down in a righteous way, giving something a real doggy, a something lusting, pulling out the breast, like. Thinking about some, like I woke up with an erection, you know, like that. Like, like I've still, I still, I've still had them dreams before. Good to know. And then just, and then, uh, you know, turned around, looked at the wife, and you know what I mean, you know, you know the vibes. I, um, don't, I don't actually go and tell me. I'm not a married man, <laughs> yeah, so same. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> you got to tell us, isn't it? Like, <laughs> I mean, don't, don't, don't tell us. Yeah. Have, have you have you ever turned down sex before? Yes. Yes. Why? Cause either you're not fit, I, I, it's, but it's you know what? Yeah, there's this mad misconception that men will just say yes anytime sex offered facts, to them. Facts, facts. But it's the it's the way it's being offered. Sometimes you just gotta be like, you know what, man? Nah, this is feeling a little bit too yeah. eagerness, man. Like a little you know, too I mean, eager. Yeah, you just be like, nah, I'm cool, man. You know what? I, I, let me go to bed stress free. I'm cool. Yeah, Peace. My, my two occasions, the World Cup final was about to start, and I just wasn't in the mood for it. So yeah. Okay, okay, you just you weren't turned on by her or yeah. oh, that's wild. So you, oh, wait a minute. So you turned down sex just to watch balls flying across the pitch. That's no, wild. I turned down sex. Twenty two men on the pitch. I turned t- I turned down sex to watch the GOAT win his first World Cup. Oh, okay. 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 Right, okay. okay. I just wanna just wanna make sure. 
Wait, can't I, test my touch here, you know. I know, I know. Yeah, but was it in the was it in the middle of the game or was it at the end of the game or was it a critical point? No, like the game was due to start. Like you're, they're they're doing lineups on the screen. Oh no, 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 no. I'm getting yeah. I'm getting a quick quick. No, I could get a, you could get a, a quick, quick rass in before yeah, that, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, I just a don't quick. like I don't like women who are who come on too strong. That's 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 not my vibe. I don't like that. Yeah, I, I it's like especially when you're talking like the man, they're like, you're come on fam, what we, we what, what, what come on fam, what you're not on this thing. Excuse me. Yeah. Who, who are you talking yeah, to man, like you that? Got, you got to have a bit of grace with it. Yeah. Like, who are you talking to like that? Got to be gentle. It's like you're not even wearing Victoria's Secrets. Yeah, like yeah. you're wearing flipping Stuart's Secrets. It's like, I don't know. Like, what we did? Like, are you on it, fam? Come on. Let's do... Nah, nah, nah. Have you not, like, like, ever, like, had a session where it's like, you can tell she's trying to force the nut out of you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's not happening gracefully. You're not, you're not hitting them moments. She just, yeah. She's just trying to do whatever it takes to get that nut out of you and be like, yeah. Especially when you're in cruise control. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, that, 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 that 20 minutes or so was like a long time. I, yeah, you, I, what, I don't, I, what I don't like is chopping and then just chopping for the sake of chopping and yeah, I'm not like, getting out, I'm not getting nothing out of it. Mm. I'm just sweating and the box ain't right. Yeah, like, if, if I can it's tell not, that it's getting a bit rushed, you're trying to say, yeah, da 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 oh, have you done it yet? And I was like, bro, like, let me enjoy it. Like, yeah. Yeah, let me yeah. let me enjoy it stroke by stroke. It's this, yeah. yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's, it's not an easy road, man. It's but some of us got to walk down it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, not, it's not easy road. Hey, shout out to Nicole Drink Water. Mm-hmm. Um, that e- episode has become uh, our most viewed episode to this date. The segments of the clips went through the roof. Um, she was proper down to earth. I lie. Yes. She, and funny, like, she's actually a funny chick. Like, mm-hmm. I like the way that she could just mix it up still. Like, Yeah, I think we definitely learn a lot more about her on our pod than uh, we knew pre-pod via the video she's been putting out. So, shout out to Nicole MJ Drinkwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yourself. Big up, um, yeah. There, was, there was some comments, bruv, that cracked me up. Yeah, shout out to my boy uh, Sergio, a.k.a. <laughs> DJ Capadon, man, because, like... <laughs> Serge, bro, I, 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 is he your Donny? Yeah, I've known Serge for like, I want to say like ten years. Yeah, um, he's actually he's in the. Let me get it right. Is it the army or the navy? One of them. He's oh, retired shit. now. Okay, but the link was I knew him through there because he used to come to some come to some of the parties. Excuse me, in Lake and Heath. And Lake and Heath has a, an American base there. Oh, so it's okay. It's like a mini America. Because you can go into the shop and all they sell in those shops is American everything. Right. So it's like to help them fill com- the, the, the comfort food, not just all like junk food, but the comfort food that they used to get in America, they stock it there for them to buy yeah. just to make them feel a little bit like they're still at home, away from home, from home, innit? Yeah. Like, and uh, he used to like invite us down there and we used to just ball out and just buy bare stuff, all American from the cereal to the right. milk to the juice. Um, still the fastest guy I know in regards to doing the Rubik's Cube. I ain't seen anyone do it quicker than him. Oh, my G. Um, so yeah, I've known Cap for a while, DJing and stuff like that. Um, and like, yeah, man, he, uh, he's, he's got a sense of humor. Nah, he's always been a funny guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I respect yeah, 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 yeah. I respect him. He was a funny guy. There was few people that had, didn't have a sense of humor, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Big he, up to them. He was like, oh, Morgan probably had flashbacks on the plane. Yeah. When the pilot says, we are now over 30,000 feet. Yeah. <laughs> Just rubbing himself. I, 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 I was I was laughing my head off because we yeah. Yeah, that was to to do with the foot fetish clip. Yeah. Yeah, you um, lost your mind when she took off her socks. Oh uh, mate, yeah, yeah. Uh, mate, Jamakabi said you looked like you needed to drink water. Yeah, you did. Shout out to shout out to KJ. He said my man had to do a hard reset. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> factory reset. Man. <laughs> Creative Eye <I> said <laughs> the way that his soul left his body had a mini sent- siesta that came back and said, compose yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild. It was crazy, nah, bro. It's, um, I died, bro. Nah, it, was, it, was, it was good fun. Um, and uh, yeah, no, nah, big her up, man, because we had a conversation about a situation she was having that got settled and it's like, cool. She's, she's cool. She's good people. Definitely, um, you know, when she's back in town, well, uh, yeah, she's you know what I mean, she's we won't try and we won't try to recreate the magic. No, but we we'll can't. Just, 
I don't think just make sure that you know she knows this is a home from home. This is a home. Yeah, you know yeah she's mean? comfortable here. This yeah, is yeah, a safe yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah. out to Nicole. She actually didn't tell us about the the reason behind pussy fat. So I messaged her today and said, yeah. "Well, I'll go on with that." Yeah. She goes, literally, just came to her head. I was like, "All right, Nick. All right, cool. That's what you're telling me. Cool. It's fine." She, she, no, she was in Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> she said, I can't remember where the... I said, so I'm saying. Yeah, big yeah. up, Big up man like Little Delroy. Yeah. <laughs> for sending out the invite. Man said Little Delroy. What, she she to, messed with granddad or something. Nah, bro. Little Delroy, man. He was like, I don't know. It was about like 12, 15. Between that age group when he when he invited them to the shubs. And then uh, shout to man like Katie that, that put it on her at the party, yeah. man. When she was in the little pom pom shorts. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, bro. That's a quantifiable fact. Hey, listen, let's start the show, man. Fast food podcast. We do it like this, yeah? Let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Donnies and Donettes, welcome to the Fast Food Podcast. This is episode 16 of season six. He goes by the name of Drizzy Sackerfett Freckles. And he goes by the name of Morgan Twerk Franklin Heights. And we are two of your illustrious co-hosts today. And the food in the title is a metaphor for the information. And we are here to give you food for four, soul food for the mind, and a feast for the palate. Before we kick off the show, we are available on all relevant DSP platforms. That's Spotify, that's iTunes, Google Podcasts. These episodes are also available visually on our YouTube channel, which is Fast Food Podcast TV. Please share, subscribe, hit the like button. Also click the notification bell for instant updates when new episodes drop. Shout out to Jojo Mantana, aka the thug from the south, aka the dry foot barbarian, aka Montana, the best cameraman in the world. Big money. I see him dip in, dip out, pause. Yep. Blessings to you. Ang tight, young J holding down the four, aka Young Ooh. Simba. No, 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 no. You didn't like no, hold on. Hold on. I had something I had something this time around, you know, and I forgot. AKA oh, Sugar. AKA Sweet Sugar Dumpling. I heard that. Yo, Where's my belt? Bro, just, bro, this is a oh, yo. <laughs> 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 we gotta get a new bell. <laughs> a man said young sugar dumpling. Nah, you gotta relax. That's outrageous. Nah, 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 nah. Bro, they, like bro. you related to Shelly and it's like nah, bro. You relax. Young bro, sugar bro, dumpling. I had, to, I had to fill in my flash. Like. Pause. Whoa, whoa. Yo. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Uh, that was crazy. That was crazy. Big shout out to Young Jay in the no, building. No VAR check needed. None. Uh, how are you feeling, Young Jay? I, know, I guess, I guess after yesterday, we'll, we'll go into it a little bit later. But I guess after my, yesterday, my voice is still recovering because I was at the game. So, oh, you went? Yeah, I'm still a bit. Yeah, man. Yeah, overwhelmed. Yeah, man. All right, say that, and we'll 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 touch on that later on. Still, pause. Um, <laughs> I want to say a big shout out to the beautiful Simone Biles, uh, wins US gymnastics competition uh, championship. She is now uh, seven times Olympic medalist and 25 world championship. She's won too many medals, and I'm just proud of her because, um, not just because she's black, but also because she's the best. Well, you could be politically correct. I'm proud of her because she's black, and it's Black History Month here in the UK, so we're claiming that oh, yeah, yeah, as a win. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 cool. We're claiming that as a win. Okay. Um, we're going to have bear barbecue chicken. We're going to have mango watermelon. We're going to turn up. Seven Olympic medals and 25 world championship medals. She's a, she's, she's a beast. That she's part. a beast, she's a beast. Yep. On a little bit of a somber note, I want to briefly say we are praying for all those suffering in the conflict between Israel and Palestine. Yep. We pray for a solution and a resolution. Mm -hmm. That's not much more I want to say on that because I'm not a politician. Me neither, um, but why Why is the, um, the 
war in Ukraine got more coverage news wise than this? Is it because this country doesn't fair, benefit on it? I don't know. I what d- is this country a benefit of? I don't this know. is okay, cool. All right. No yeah, problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't trying to make it a segment. No, 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 no. No, but, it's just, it's no, just but I hate you. It's, it's, yeah. it's almost like, you. it's almost like in, it was June, Pride Month. Yeah. Oh, you know it's Pride Month. Yeah. It's Black History Month. How many yeah. days are we in now? N- nearly 11 days in. And, and, and it's like, what, what are we doing? Some little, oh, here's a little selection of black face do you know stuff do you know another thing i even realized yesterday yeah bro i didn't even clock the players took the knee yesterday i didn't cl- like i i own like and i even saw the no room for racism stuff yeah then i deep rise only because it's black history month for doing this i mean i mean if you if you, and this is why i didn't want to go into it too much but if you deep the palestine israel conflict that's been going on for nearly 100 years so, mm. so <laughs> message so, so like, it's not little black history month they're gonna care about yeah, if that's been going on for yeah, 100 years anyway, man, but let's celebrate yeah, yeah. let's yeah, celebrate man. you feeling comfortable in your sexuality yeah. and self because that's way more important than the history of a race of people yeah, yeah, who crazy. were short. And anyway, yeah, 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 anyway, yeah, 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 sorry, yeah, yeah. what are we doing uh, today? Live event. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, big up to everybody. Big up to everybody who paid for their ticket and came out to see us at the live show last weekend um, at Canary Wharf to Cube. Um, I think I think we should start. Let's start from. Let's start from Boss Man. Big go, up. Go ahead. Big up, Nick. Big up, Nick. For allowing us, opening these doors to, again, because we were at the original Cube in Park Royale for a couple yeah. of episodes. Yeah. What was that? Season f- five? Four? Five, Four. Four, four, four and part of yeah, five. five. Yeah. Um, so shout out to him. That's yeah. where we did our, our uh, I think it was a legendary episode where we did the whole little, uh, it was like a Kanye carnival. Yeah, episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember but it's that. just you and I there because yeah. we just was like, yo, should we pod? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go yeah, pod. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Um, so shout out to Nick who then extended the invite to his new establishment based in Can- uh, Canary Wharf. Yep. Beautiful venue. Um, and you know what I like about the Cube is that it doesn't, you could never tell who owns that place yeah. until you're told, oh, it's a king that owns that place. Yeah. Because the way it's set up, the decor, it yeah. just looks fire. Yeah, it is. So shout out to him. I thought you was going, Jay. Uh, I was, but then I got caught up with some stuff. Okay. Mm. And then... Got to I had to some sort out so some... you lied to me? No, 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 no. I was generally okay. on my way. Okay. <laughs> then I got caught up in some business, caught okay. up in some other stuff. Fair enough. But you did come through Clutch... Yeah. By bringing us that thing, dropping off the thing yeah, yeah, for the yeah, banner. Yeah, 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 you know. No, which someone forgot, but anyway. I respect it. Um, <laughs> so after Nick, who's next on the list? Uh, we need the to host. bring up... Yes. You big up the hosts? No, after we, 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 we're going too far. Big up the, the, big up, the person that Big up the queen. On the door every time. Right. Big up the queen. Who are you talking about? Boss lady? Boss lady. I think there's two of them though. There's the one in our camp and then there's one for... Let's talk the about queen. our camp. Okay, big up boss lady Keisha. Keisha, big up Keisha. Big her up every time. Um, there were a few. Um, I overheard a few comments. Re- actually, just when she wakes up, big her up, man. Cause she's, yeah, man. I don't know if I should say <laughs> what happened about about. Big up, big up Keisha. I already no, no, no. See, no, seriously, let's big up Keisha because yeah. yeah. I already started. I'm already halfway up the hill. I might as well go, go to the it. top. Um, so I overheard some conversations. I'm like, yo, bro, there's this thing in here, bro, with this little like sporty pink kind of outfit on. Yeah. Her bunda is bunda league. Yeah, bunda's league. And I pretend like I didn't hear, but inside I was busted up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shout to them, man, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, uh, she, 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 she definitely, um, attracts. She definitely has the power of attraction. I don't know that because she's like little sis to me and she runs the, she's like yeah. head head honcho of this You still got eyes in your head? I don't know, man. It's just, what, you don't have eyes in your head? I, yeah, but. but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't like the way you translate. Like, oh, it's fine. No, no, I, 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 no I, I, I'm aware of it all. Of course you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to get to. You're yeah, just yeah, dancing. Yeah, 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 but you're not, you're not going to draw me out. I'm not drawing you out now. <laughs> like, I respect that you, as a married man, 
who's secure in your marriage can say, you know what, that's a nice wonder. You know, you know, when, you, you know when, you exp- when you explain yourself, you just fall into the trap. So I'm not going to say nothing anymore. No, no, no. But there's, not, there's nothing to say. No, but I get I, that. I, I, don't, I, I personally don't My look, broad shoulders. I don't I look at it like that. I know. But I'm, if I'm not looking for an elephant and I see an elephant walk by, I will see the elephant walk by. Okay? No, but then essentially, though, what his point is that you kind of have to look to see. I mean? No, but I, 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 uh, no, I've seen. Bro, you could have stopped. No, no, no. Don't let this guy make a carry. What are you doing? You, you've seen, <laughs> but as in, he's not looking to see. He's just seen it. Bro, yeah, there's yeah, nothing yeah. else you got to say. Yeah, don't try it. You know. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> shout out to Keisha. Um, hey, is it Amy? Is it Amy? Amy, Amy. Amy. Shout yeah. to Amy. Shout to Amy. But Amy is the unsung hero. Yeah. Did you notice though what Keisha did? When, uh, right, we're still back on this here. Yeah? No, did you know oh. what she did when we walked in to the room bef- to start the show and those little treats were on the seats? The, the, the Haribo mix. Little, yeah. I, was I saw he- someone eating that like their life depended on heavy it, man. Like t- this. That was a heavy little touch. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I respect it yeah. because I never really... I, that was on her. Yeah. And I feel like... No, but I, I, I think it's... Now you say that, it's not a surprise. no. Do you see what I'm saying? Because she really talks to us like, I want this shit to pop. Yeah, she does. Considering how she met us, yeah. she hasn't known us for that long. No. Another clubhouse connect. Yeah, she and she and she's invested and I appreciate right. it. I really so do. when I so that is just like we appreciate you, Keisha. We do. We appreciate you. We we, we should try and arrange a little season like festive season like little link up like just the, the, the team 100% have a little, even if it's a little get, cheeky little Nando's food. or something to yeah, 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 food, yeah, whatever yeah 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 well, on you yeah on a huh <laughs> I mean I speak no English so shout out Keisha shout out Ami yes shout out Latif Lovejoy each and every time the man came through and blessed us shout out to E-Man of course that Donny came through blessed us shout out to Reams that sistrin, that sistrin came through and blessed it. You, you know? know what? Yeah. Yo. So this is kind of like an off mic conversation you and I had. You and I. And you said to me, what you said to me, you know what is. So I was like, all right, cool. So then I was like, I've not heard from Reams. Yes. Let me reach out to Reams. And yeah. we were missing each other's calls to the point where I was like, raw. Well, is I'll that, go on. Is that, is that Reams is... Treating that baby father, yeah? yeah. Well, just oh. ducking the calls. I was like, well, what is this? Yeah. So, anyway, so I spoke to Reams. Reams broke down to be like, why she's been MIA and all that. I said, all right, cool. So when she, she probably didn't even clock it. She thought I was just being polite. Right. When she came out, obviously she gets a round of applause. I, big up to her. Uh, we'll obviously big them up all together, our, our, our foodies. But when everyone came out, they, they, they clapped for them, like yeah. gave them a warm welcome. Yes. But she, obviously she got it as well. But when she sat down, I asked for the people them to give her another round of applause. Right, right, right. But she didn't clock. I asked them to give her that round of applause just because of the conversation we had right, on the right. phone. Right, right. I clocked it. I clocked it. Okay, say no more. Yeah. I just felt like... And I think she knew. Okay, I and hope I think, so. And I think I, she understood. Yeah. Because obviously something that we can't... We divulge, were not going to speak on none of We no, can't no. divulge, but... No. I f- the, the sense of that yeah. was, was... Right, I just wanted her to feel like... It was reciprocated. Your, your brother's always here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this you. Is, this is a safe space we for got, you. We got, you know what I mean? So yeah, shout yeah. out to Queen Reem. Shout out to Reem. Big up her son that was there. Yeah, man. The young Donny come through. Bless. Bruv, you know what, yeah? You know what impressed me about him? I went upstairs now to pack my stuff to the side so it's like, right, when it's time to bounce, I don't have to be looking for stuff. right. I see him just there on his phone. I was like, what one, Prince? He goes, oh, yeah, I'm cool, man. Da, da, da. I said, you good? You need anything from downstairs? Blah, blah, blah. He goes, no, no, I'm all right. I said, you, got, you, you just chilling upstairs, yeah? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to chill upstairs until it's all done. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, well, <laughs> when he dropped this bar, I was almost like, do you know what? Man said to me, no, nah, it's because it's big people business going on downstairs. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to chill upstairs. And obviously when I'm of age and I can move around in big people business, right, right. I, was, I, big I literally bigged him up right there and then. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even going to go, let me tell his mom, because it's like, nah, sometimes you have to big them up to their face in the you. moment yeah, yeah, yeah. so they know, all right, cool. Like what I'm doing is good. 
I was like, yes, big man. I said, all right, cool. Say no more. You know, if you want a little something that says, let me know. You know what I mean? Um, so big him up, man. Big him up. How, old, how old is he? I think he was like, God. He, I don't he, know. It was he, like 15, I, 16, maybe? Yeah, young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was chilling upstairs. You yes, never yeah. know, bruv. So big him up, man. Look, big up his looks, parents. Bro, he's, he, he's, he, looks, he looks 21 for fuck's sake. Shit, at least 30. Yeah, yeah. Some, some bad boy shit. Too yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. But he was not, but no, nah, we're joking. He don't look that old. He but he's like, just he the way like he carried man. himself, you'd think he was of that age. But he's still just a teenager. So, so yeah. big up yourself, young man. Big up yourself. Yeah, big, up, big up to my brother, the one and only. Jeez, man, like Teeks. Teeks, big him up. Teeks is helping me get a, a new laptop. Oh, my dope. laptop's acting up after. When I get it, 2012? I think? Okay. Yeah, my laptop's finally starting to say to me, Negro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, man. Yeah. I'm trying to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so shout out to Teeks. Shout out to Teeks. Now, we've bigged up everyone needs to big up, right? Before we get into this part. Um, I gave Teeks a little bit of grief on the night, but I bro, apologize. Bro, I apologize. Bro, I apologize. Bro, <laughs> bro, 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 bro. I was feeling stressed. I looked around at Teeks yeah, and yeah. Teeks looked Teeks like stressed. a child that was told, go sit in the corner and I don't want to hear you breathe or blink your eyes. So if you need to breathe, keep your mouth open, your nose wide, don't blink your eyes. Because Teeks was like, yo, Driz, but I, I thought that. I said, bro, it needs to go like this and this. Two twos now, this Donnie here gets the voice like, yo, 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 yo. It needs to go this and then this. Fuck sakes, man. Do you know what and I'm was? like, bro, yeah. hold on, wait a minute. Do you know what it was? Yeah, I did. I remember I did the get, that game. Basically, we we're talking about a no, game. No, no, we don't. Oh, yeah, don't say what the game is. But we we're yeah. talking about a game that we play during our live shows. Yeah. And it's a music game. But yeah. um, when I organize it, I You're this time up. around, I organized it. You're fucked up. Yeah, I messed up. Yeah. But then when I'm when I'm when I'm looking at the notes, we're live. So this is like, there's no reset button. There's no. Like we're outside, right? And then I'm just like getting frustrated because it's not making sense. DJ, D, Mr. DJ Teeks, my brother, is is like, no, nah, he looked like he got scolded. Even Joe, Joe was sitting next to my brother saying, what is Donnie on? Yo, Joe, uh, Joe said, bro, <laughs> Joe, Joe. I'm going to tell you what Joe said Joe to me. Yeah, said, and I, I, I kept, I Joe you, said, uh, Borgs is bugging out. I was inside, I was dying. <laughs> Joe said, bro, if it wasn't for my fucking mics being used, bro, I would have gone home because this game is pissing me off, bro. He was stressed. <laughs> Oh yeah, my like, gosh, shout to Joe. That's about Joe. See when Joe loses his head or like signs. He, he was out of red, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah, Joe was but like, get, yeah, so But we got through it. We, yeah, yeah. We got through it. Yeah, shout to the winners. Shout to winners, Havana. And I forgot the young lady's name. Do you remember? Oh yeah, that, Havana was the Donnie, innit? Ha Havana was the Donnie. Um, her name, Naomi. Naomi, shout out to Naomi. Yeah. Blessing. Shout out to Coco, our brethren as well. Yeah. Big, big Coco, yourself, the one so. with the, yes. the nose jewelry. Yes, yes, yes. That shit was... I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. That's not a pause. He's talking about a woman. Bro, he, said bro, he's not bro. Going, he said he's not going to hold me. He's gonna, not gonna hold you. He's talking about the woman, not you. <laughs> bro, it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> hey, Morgz, well, your concentration level is low. She had this nose jewelry going on. Yes. Yeah, she was adorned. Yeah. Excuse me? She was adorned. Okay. Mm. You know what that means? Uh, can, can, can you spell that for us, young man? Adorned means like you're just... I, uh, can you spell it? Alpha, Delta, October, October, <laughs> October, Romeo. Uh, what's what's the end? Is it November? <laughs> nah. It's end. What's end, man? Niggas. Alpha, November. <laughs> bro. What did he just say? Bro. Niggas. In, in Black History Month. Come on, bro. You can't be doing hey, that. You peered me. The, 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 yeah. yeah. What, what, are you, what are you two doing? <laughs> I'm the only light skinned Negro here. What are you two doing? Hey, that's missed, even worse. I missed it, but I kind of knew. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I okay. missed what you Yours said. Yours might be worse, though, because that was actually used as pure insults. <laughs> no, because I feel, I, feel like I, 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 I feel like the odd one out. Like, you lot got cold or something. But anyway. So, what are we yeah. saying? We also have to big up um, the bar staff. The bar staff. Shout out to the bar staff. They enjoyed they themselves. They did. And I asked the person I'm going to big up next. To specifically big them up because I just liked what I've seen. As someone who I'm cool not drinking at all. Yeah. To the point where some people go, Driz, have a drink because I don't trust people who don't drink around me. And I'm like, right, I'll have a shot just to appease yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they just kept everything flowing nicely. Right. So shout out to DJ Chuckster. Come on. 
and shout out <coughs> to the master of the ceremony on the night who gave us an after party. Like, no, look, I don't know what the next after party is going to be like. I don't want to put pressure on it. It might be Teeks, myself, and someone else. But the after party, the delivery that... Um, the energy. The energy that the grime, sorry, the garage, excuse me, excuse my French, the UK legend that is MC Bushkin gave to us. I'm sorry, man. Dope. Like, Dope. At one point, I wanted to film it live on the gram, and then I was like, nah. I wa- at one point, I nah. did want to get my phone out, but I was so in the moment. Bruh. I was like, fuck the world, bro. And then I was like, you didn't, you, you didn't make the effort you to, to reach. Yeah, so I, so can't, I can't give you, the, I can't, it's, I've still got the video on my phone yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah, just yeah. like, people paid for this shit. And so, let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. I, do you know what, what made my, that made my night, especially because I feel like after the actual live show is over, that's mm. when we can relax. Yeah. And just uh, look around, talk to people, mingle, take everything in, pause. And just kind of enjoy that, the festivities and what Bushkin and Chuckster did was just yeah. icing on the cake, man. Yeah. I really enjoyed myself. Wifey enjoyed myself. Shout out to my bridge and Ags who I brought with Hold me. Hold on, you said wifey enjoyed myself. Wifey you enjoyed after herself. The party, after the party. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, go on, sorry. <laughs> Shout out to my bridge and Ags, <laughs> yeah. who's old school. When the garage came on, yeah, kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah. he yeah. don't get out much. You could tell... You, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell certain Donnies that don't get out yeah, much. Yeah, he don't get and then out when, much. when that sinks in with yeah, yeah, a certain yeah. music genre that they love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. was in his element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in his yeah. element, so Big shout out to man. him. But yeah, anything else? Um, Big up hearts, big up um, man like Mr. Valentine. Yeah, man. Um, I said to them man there that it's like, it ain't a live show without the man them. Well, here's the thing. It's... it's when you say you're supporting your brethren, obviously you can do it on different levels. Yeah. Um, but they came to the very first one. I put it in the group. Yep. We got a, every, everyone's got a group. It's not no secret. Oh my gosh, the guys have, a, the fellas have a group. Yeah. We got a group. And um, I, I, I put it in there every time. And it's not more because I'm putting it in there for them. I'm putting it in there to see who else in the crew is rolling. Yeah. I know they're going to roll, but yeah. I'm putting it in there because when, because us three, we, we're literally like the Migos, except I'm the only one with locks. But when we take photos and stuff together, we look, people have said we look like a super band. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who's, who's, who's. I'd probably be Hove because <laughs> I got the bars. But yeah, but I put it in there because I don't want the man to be like, rah, that man, where was you, man? I come and didn't get the invite. Bro, yeah. if you check back to that date when the thing was announced, I put the flyer and the link in there on that day. But shout to Hearts, shout to um, Valentine each and every time. Uh, who else? I'm trying to think who else. I'm going to shout to my brother Caden. He was there in spirit. I'm going to shout to... Actually, it's, it might be a topic, you know. I'm not too sure. But anyway. Shout out to my cousin. To my cousin. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Lauren, who... Bro. <laughs> who arrived from a, a, a day party. She yeah, went to a brunch tell. during yeah. the day yeah. and had a lot to drink. Yeah. And she came to the podcast and sat Locked, in the crowd. Loaded and ready to <laughs> shoot. And gave me absolute jokes. She was hilarious. She was Bigger entertaining. Up. She was, she, 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 there was such an element to her being there. She was just loud and, and abrasive. And I love that because... Um, it's a live show and we want people to get involved. Yeah. At the end of the night, she came up to me, she's like, I, 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 and it's a war. If, everything okay. okay? And I was yeah. like, look, yeah. Just... No, 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 bigger up, bigger up, big up, CL yeah. Smooth, big up all of them. Shout out to the women because the women definitely, I feel like this was the most, uh, I don't want to say interact because the women have always interacted before, but this one, I felt like they was really stomping their foot, like, hang on a minute. Yeah. We're not letting you lot say that yeah. without us giving you a female perspective. Of course. Shout out to all the women that was in there. That, Chidi, uh, shout yeah. out to Alicia, shout out to G, shout yeah. out to who else was in there. Shout out to Wifey, shout out to my sister-in-law that was yeah. there. Who am I missing? Shout out I'm to gonna Queen. I'm going to tell you something. Off- yeah, Queen. Shout out to Queen. Shout out to Nikita. Nikita. And shout out to yeah, extended uh, clubhouse family, Come man. On. Shout out to uh, Mr. Dirty that Mr. was in Dirty there. Mr. Dirty passed through. Uh, shout out to man like Zush. Yeah, my, my watching TV Come on. family. Come on. Um, who else was there? Nero was actually going to make an appearance, you know, but it clashed with his mum's birthday. Okay, but he gave me the heads up 
way in advance. He right. said, bro, that date clashes with mum's yeah, thing. One of them ones. If I can, if it's anything, change, I'm roll through, but one of them ones. he was there in spirit. So bring him up. Um, shout to my boy, Mr. Anderson, who was in the party. Shout to him. Um, yeah, bro, who man. Was the, who was the Donny that uh, kind of towards the end of the show got caught up with? Oh, shout to my boy, uh, <laughs> Uh, Mr. K Buzz, man. K, shout yeah, out to he, K. He, he had a lot to get off his chest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To the point where it was like, bro, yeah, we gotta wrap this up. Yeah, he like, started he's got get... ten seconds. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, and then I was like, bro, the fact that you said yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying is, you've already eaten up in ten seconds already. Just, just get it out of there, bro. But yeah, big him up, man. Like we definitely had a very opinionated, interactive uh, audience, and it just helps because that's what we want. Yeah. That's what want, that's what makes the live different to what we're doing right now. What you're listening to right now, totally different experience. We want it to be a different experience. Yeah, you know what 100%. I mean, hundred so, percent. Thank yeah. you, thank you once again uh, to all our fast food podcast foodies who follow us, who follow us on the socials, who support us from day one. Um, there was a few missing people that again bought tickets and supported. Yeah, some. I ain't got Wait, shout to, to Josephine. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that couldn't make it, but. Yeah. Um, we're going to do more shows. What we want to do now is more concentrate on this, on the content, and give you much more content throughout the rest of the year leading into next year. So we'll be announcing live shows later on next year, maybe the summer. We'll, 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 we'll reconvene and we'll talk as a I collective think, and let I think you guys we should, know. I think we should do some... I think we should get back into our live bags. I think we should get back into our live bags on IG. Yeah, we used to do that a lot once yeah. upon a time. I and think we TikTok. need to get back in our bags. And TikTok, yeah, we can do that TikTok as well. as well. We need to, we need to, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I just yeah, feel yeah. like that was the thing we used to do yeah. just because. Just knock them out. Yo, Drizzy, what are you doing? I'm just chilling. Yeah, yeah, more yeah, yeah. Doing? I'm just chilling. Should we do a live? Yeah, let's do a quick live. Yeah. So I think we should do more of that. I agree. In between, like, episodes I, and stuff. I, I agree, mean? I agree. Shout out to everybody once again. Um, Let's get into the show. The oh. Fast Food Podcast. Podcast. It's the, it's, the, it's the big topic at the moment. Can't move away from it. What, Drake, bed bugs? Drake, what? <laughs> Drake's just dropped an album. Okay. Um, it was anticipated. Mm-hmm. Um, the album is called... For All The Dogs. For All The Dogs. And um, what do you think? What do you think of the album? I wouldn't know. You ain't listened to it? No. Jay, Young Jay. I like it still. What do you think? I think the two best songs on there are 8am in Charlotte. And yeah. First person shooter. Mm. J- which, are, which is what I played at the J- top of the show. J. Cole spun him. Mm. J. Cole's 100%. You know, the, you know what the worrying thing is about that? Because I know of that record, because that's the record that's been doing the rounds. My worry with that record is that's going to be Annie Up Remix Part 2. Okay. You know, as a DJ, when I play Annie Up, I play Buster's verse. Yeah. I play Remy Ma's verse. And then I, I, I go to the next record. Even though it's an MOP record and MLP actually do their verses after that but with all due respect people just want to hear that Buster Rhymes Buster Rhymes now nah. MLP now nah. yeah. what you want blah, 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 but J, blah, blah. J, J. Cole's second didn't he he's second no, J. Cole's first he starts and then he it kind he of st- back J. Cole, and forth J. Cole starts it then it hits the drink then yeah. it hits back to J. Cole yeah. and then you're going to cut it from there yeah no you're not you know I think that's I think that's all you need I think he, yeah, Drake said more on his first verse yeah, I think that's all you need, really. It didn't feel like enough, though, compared to what uh, Nat King Cole was saying over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said a lot, hey, he said a lot to people, you know. Um, do, you know do, do you know what it is, right? Drake is not my go-to artist, or I don't anticipate a Drake album like I would anticipate a Hove album or a Nas album or one of the artists that I grew up with. And this that's no slight on Drake himself because I believe Drake is arguably the best out, artist out now or has been for the past, hey, what, 10, 15 years. Hey, he's years. one away from Michael Jackson. Yeah, so I there's no that's no slight on him, but I don't anticipate his albums. But I definitely will check in because of who he is. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't sit here and tell you that I can hold my hands up and go oh the album's amazing the album's amazing I've listened to it twice what I will say gav- from what I um, gathered from the, my listen is the first seven or eight records at, of the album to start dope mm. and then he does the Drake stuff 
when he dips out and he starts to sing in. And it just brings down the energy of the album where I was turning up, I was listening to the lyrics. I'm a, I like, I'm a, I like rap, innit? I'm a rapidly rap yeah, rapper. I think old school guy. That's, that's, that's a lot of the discourse that people were having on social media. It's like, oh, why is Drake doing this? But people forget Drake was a singer first. I mean, I mean, this is what he does. Like, what was the first yeah. song that Drake best made? I, best, I, best I ever had. And what was he doing on that song? He was rapping. Maybe you my everything. But he was he rapping. sung the chorus as well. Yeah, I, I see. I see both of you guys' arguments. I he think, but it's like when you think about that verse, when you think about that song, yeah, Jizzy just Jizzy's gonna prove the Jizzy has just proven the point I'm about to make. Yeah, what's the thing? What's the thing you sing? What's the thing you say most from that song? You sing oh, the chorus. Yeah, yeah but, but everything. But he, yeah, but hook, it's, and it's the part that he was singing. Yeah, but hook is the a lot of rap records of hook is what what you go to. That doesn't. That doesn't. I'm a hustler, baby. We, yeah, we don't, we can't. That's not an no, argument. But, all right. My my thing is is. Drake is a rapper. Mm. It's essentially, he's a rapper. Yeah. But you over over a period of time, you're always going to hit the, his formula has always been there's going to be singing. Right. So I think what little Jay is saying because no, Drake even himself said he's a singer. Back That's fair. To, back to back freestyle. You're getting bodied by a singer, nigga. He he, he rap, he's a rapper. Drake is a Drake is essentially. I think he's a, I think, I think I think he's he's a walks, singer that can rap. I think he's he a rapper walks, that can sing. I think when he walks, he's got one foot rap world and it's another foot singer. He's not the greatest singer in the world. He's a m- melodic. He's like that melodic. Uh, it's that like melodic break, Kanye melodic type rap, yeah. Yeah. singer who can rap. Yeah. Um, but you wouldn't say Kanye West is a producer. You would say Kanye West is a rapper. Producer. Producer turn around. But Kanye was what he's saying. Kanye was now, a producer. Or, or, or you'd call him an artist. Where he is now, or just yeah, for him. You'd call him an artist. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think the problem with Drake is we knew who Aubrey was up until a certain point, but we're not finding out who Drake is at this point. We knew who Aubrey was. It's with every artist. Yeah. They give you a certain amount of music. Their debut album is all based on life experiences. Yeah. And then they keep giving you some more life experiences, maybe two, three albums. Now no, but he, I think I think that's false. I think he has shown us who he is because when you think about it, there was this period from, let's say, I'd say when he made um, Take Care. Yeah. I think he was showing he was a lover boy right. and that Take Care nothing, and then nothing was the same. Mm-hmm. And then I think you hit, um, if you're reading this, it's too late. Yeah. I think that's when he checks out of the lover boy scene because you listen to most of the songs, yeah, and it's like he's he's like he's talking his he's talking his stuff now. Yeah. And then you get views, which is a bit of him tapping him back into that lover boy mm-hmm. scene as well. And then 2017, he done the I think 2017 was the, the future one. Uh, what time to be alive? What time to be alive? Yeah. And then 2018, oh, he hits us with Scorpion, and Scorpion is like, all right, cool. Double now, album. Yeah. Now I'm gonna really get at some people. Yeah. Now I'm really gonna talk my stuff, and yeah. then. I mean, I just, I just, I just feel like Drake, Drake. I want to hear about. Okay, I'm just gonna say this next thing just to add context to where I'm going. The destination. Go for it. Even though Pusha Thanos made you into father, the, gave you the father of the year award, right? Yeah, yeah. But like, Drake, like, what is what has fatherhood done to you? Right. How has that changed how you look at the world, Drake? Right. Like, your the lady you had intercourse with. I'm gonna try to be as respectful as possible, and you both created this a child. Yeah, shout out to Young Adonis. Like, how is that? Who's dynamic? on the album? Huh? Who's yes, on the album? right. How is co-parenting? How are you doing the co-parenting thing? Yeah, while being Drake. Right. But I think I think that's something. We just need to wait for. I don't think we need to rush it. I think now that he's on, we don't. You're right. I think but now at that the I same think, time, I think now that he's on this break, he can re- when he comes back after this break, however long it is, I think that's when he can really tell us about what father right. time is. Because okay. you got to remember, all this time he's been releasing music and he's still been a dad. Has he really had a chance to work father time? All right, uh, I you're respect give, you're, that. Yeah, you're, you're giving him. You're, you're you're caping. But I'm gonna I'm gonna counter that. Right. Uh, by the way, is Drake your one of your artists? Is he the, is he your guy? I wouldn't say he's my go-to guy first. No. Okay, okay, fair enough. But I'm gonna count that with be, but not anymore. Okay, with 
and I could only reference this back to the person I'm going to talk to because this is the person that I've grew up listening I don't, no, to. No, no, no. I did, I, no, Dre. I, what? Drizzy, I, you know why I knew we were gonna. I knew somehow because of because of our affinity to the Donny no, that we were, gonna, we were gonna. I don't make, care. I don't care. He's bruv, We can't. Wait, 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 quick question. Did Michael, okay. did Michael Jackson ever talk about Father Time? No, no, no. We're not talking about Michael. You can't put. No, no, no. I'm asking a question. What's that got to do with it? It's, it's a question. Uh, possibly. Oh, but no, Michael, but here's did the thing. Did, did Jay Z has Jay Z spoke about Father Time yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah if we want to go there, hold on. Let me. Let me wait, let no, me, I'm let asking me, a question. Let's put the gloves on. All right. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. Kanye has. I know Kanye has definitely. Right. Jay Z gave us the. I'm a. I'm a street hustler, drug dealing motherfucker album. He then gave us the. You know what? I've got my money up. Now I'm drinking Cristal and I'm out getting. I'm popping. I'm in the sea. You know, R.I.P. Biggie. He gave us that. Then he gave us the, you know what, it's time to cross over and hit them in their heads with his hard knock life. Can I get a money cash hose and all them good thing there. Then he hit us with, he was giving us tracks like I'm currently on trial for apparently stabbing someone. He gave us that and he made it a bop in uh, Guilty Until Proven Innocent. He made it a bop with the, the Robert guy who's... Doing his thing in jail. Yeah, but shout out to but, shout but out like to, Hov's yeah. giving us the drug dealer hustle mother, the, the the jiggy guy, the crossover guy, the corporate guy, the I'm the trendset, I'ma tell you what's what's hot and what's not guy. He's giving us the you know what, yeah. I think I'm kind of falling in love with this thing still. Like, and then one thing I'm not sorry. Well, I'm, hot. For, sorry, but one thing I've noticed, yeah, especially with the whole discourse about this Drake album, yeah, is like a lot of people that are talking about this Drake album and saying what he should be doing, what he shouldn't be doing, yeah. Drake's not catering his music to that people anymore. All right. That's fair. All right, so... What, let's, that's let's, fair? let's be real, though. Let's be real, yeah. Is anyone under 26 you're going to have a, a problem with what, what kind of music Drake is releasing right now? No. No, but I don't, I don't, think I don't so. need an album. Look, let me... Like, let obviously, me... obviously, you... Obviously, as a... As a as a consumer, yeah, you want it to cater to you regardless. You want you want to hear certain things. You're expecting it because it's Drake. You know what it is? It's because of who. Okay, from my perspective, it's because of who Drake hanged around with and grew up with. Drake, despite what's going on, Drake was a massive fan of Joe Budden, and there's a, a nine plus minute clip on YouTube that proves J he used to I almost idolize this Donny. Um, He's come up through the ranks of the little Waynes, the the J Cole. Like your your ops on a hip hop tip is J Cole and Kendrick his Lamar. His ops, we can't call. I'm sorry, yeah, but you can't call Kendrick Lamar. You can't come and bring Kendrick Lamar to an argument. You're talking about Drake because Kendrick Lamar. If I'm honest, yeah, Kendrick Lamar to me, and this is to me yeah. only. I do not speak for the Fast Food Podcast. I speak for me, Young that's, Jay, Young Money Jay. Fight. Okay. Big oh, money, J. Oh, yeah. He's doubling up. So quick, the money's coming in. Kendrick yeah. Lamar hasn't produced anything of real substance since 2015. Okay. I'm going to ignore what you just said. And I'm going <laughs> now, J. Cole... Hold on, hold on, hold on. J. Cole, on the other oh, hand... Lay, 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 lay. J. Cole, on the other hand, has produced music of substance. Yeah? Okay. I can go back and listen to KOD. I can listen to The Off Season. Okay. Yeah? I can listen to Forest Hill Drive. Yeah? Okay, we're moving. Okay, we're moving, to, we're digressing. Okay. We're talking about Drake's album, we're not talking about Kendrick Lamar, but what we're saying is, right, and this is what I'm getting from the conversation, is a lot of us who have um, bought into Drake, yeah. wanted to hear a more grown uh, Drake album. We wanted to hear more of a mature um, introspective because I feel like Drake's always been int introspective. He's actually probably one of the one of the artists that kind of really dived into being personal right in, in, throughout his career so you so this is what his ninth or tenth studio album Are we as grown men women or whatever i can just speak for myself we felt like we wanted to hear more about his life and what he's going through which is when you alluded to fatherhood how situations he's been maneuvering in with his baby moms and whatever, whatever. And I'm not saying he has to tell us yeah, all his personal. Hold on, let me land. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to, I don't, I'm not saying we need to hear all his personal no, bullshit. No. 
But what we want to hear is one or two songs, a sense of growth and maturity within. How many what songs is, is on this album? About twenty five. Too many. No, not too, no. Not, I think it's about twenty five. It's about twenty or twenty five. That's too many. Yeah. Like Drake, give me a four. To, give me like a fourteen track, a twelve to forty track album, and just give me two tracks. Two tracks yeah. that just say. Boom, 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 boom. Too many. Twenty three. Yeah. That's just give me two tracks that is like. This is what's happening right now. Yeah. yeah but That's all. I don't need I don't need you to cater to me because I'm not your core audience. No. I understand. I understand. But that. give me something that I can reach to and go, you know what, bro? Let me listen to Drake. Cause at the moment I'm kind of going through something that Drake's going through. Right. Let me go and listen to that song. I can relate to that song because we're going through the yeah, same thing. But Drake thing. does that though. He does that on every album, especially towards the end. That's He's done that on his last few albums. He's done it on Her Loss. He's done it on Scorpion. He done it on honestly never no no he didn't do it on honestly never mind he did it on certified lover boy but also a lot of the people that are talking now yeah the, the older generation you're saying you want to hear this and that you want to hear more grown Drake Drake is making music for the people that are gonna buy tickets at the end of the day and that's fine yeah, so but, it's like we can't, I will buy no, no, I will go to Drake I no, went to Drake no, last what was it two years ago I went to Drake see Drake I'm saying no, it's like you also gotta put yourself in the mindset it's like Drake is gonna make music that he's going to enjoy making. At the same time, he's he, gonna make he's gonna make music that he's gonna enjoy yeah, playing yeah. at shows where he's gonna see thousands of fans bopping, mousetrips, whatever. That's cool, but at the end of the day, at, there's a point in time now where let's let's keep it at one hundred. Drake doesn't need to make any more albums. He doesn't need to make any more music. He's solidified as an artist. He's his music is going to reign on supreme throughout the years to come. Mm -hmm. So it's not like he's relying on, a, on an album for him to do anything. He's Drake. What, what, again, what, when you break down who listens to his music, the demographic of people that listen to his type of music, and then the music that has actually also grown up with him, because we got Drake... Drake's been around 15 years plus now. So it's like... Yeah. So he's, he, has, he has entered the yeah. music space... At a certain point where we were still outside doing our thing. So mm -hmm. to a degree, we've grown up with him. Even when you think about this as well, the people who know Drake now, a lot of them not even big Drake fans. They're NBA young boy fans. They're little yachty fans. They're more even... Drake is actually kicking on a little bit now still. Mm. So it's like he's in that middle ground place where, cool, I get it. Drake is somebody who clearly caters to everybody. He'll come to the UK, he'll fuck with a couple of Donnies over here, he'll go to Toronto, he'll go to Jamaica, he does his thing. He, Drake is not, um, what do you call it? He's multifaceted, is that mm -hmm. the word, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not wronging him for that. And, I no, don't, no, no. I, 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 and I'm not begrudging him for what he's doing to this day. I just feel like he could have done more with what's going on in his life and given us more of a inside look to how he's feeling at this time because obviously he had the tune he had the album with um, 21 Savage which was, was a us. great album yep. and, and, oh. and, and then this and again when you listen to this new Drake album he's turning up on there but again I, I just because I'm again from I, he doesn't Drake doesn't give a shit about what Morgan Heights feels about his mm. album I'm yeah. not his core audience yeah. but at the end of the day I still fuck with Drake so yeah. I these are my opinions based on what I want to hear and that's, that's the bottom line Moving on from that, mm -hmm. we, we heard what Joe Budden said on the podcast. Yeah. And did you hear, did you see the response that Drake gave? Yeah. I think it's a very one at just once. Okay, let me read it. Okay, so, uh, uh, Champagne Puppy said, Joe Budden, you have failed at music. You left it behind to do what you are doing in this clip because this is that uh, this is what actually pays your bills. Okay, facts. For any artist watching this, just remember, you are watching a failure give their opinion on his idea of a recipe for success. A quitter. Give your their opinion on how to achieve longevity. You switch careers because the things that pop into your brain had your broke... <laughs> popped into your brain, had, your, had you broke living check by check and the raps you write had 450 men showing up to your shows in dusty 
<laughs> What's that? Iniche jeans to screw up their face to mute music. 29 and pretend to... Hold on. To mute music. 29 and pretend you are the GOAT. Please, to any artist doing this, that's doing what they feel is right, don't let these opinions affect your mindset after the fact. This guy is a, the poster child for frustration and uh, surrendering. You retired and we never hung up your... and. We never hung up your jersey. We don't even remember your number. We know you for this. You withdrew from rap, not caused you, not because you accomplished all you needed, all you need. It was because it wasn't working for you. I never want anybody in the, this generation to think that the whole everybody's entitled to their opinion is a real thing. This is a man projecting his own self-hate and the fact that I did and continue to do everything he wanted to do for himself. If you need to put in simpler terms, I own a 70, 767. He owns a modest house in the nine in the nine seven threes and flies first class on special occasions. Now, I know for a fact that Drake's reply has PR substance. I feel like I feel like Drake knows what he's doing once he puts out something like this. Right. Two, I also believe he really means what he says when he says this. Yeah. Because him and Joe Budden have have had back and forths and he feels some type of way. Yeah. When I listen to what Joe Budden said on a podcast, I don't actually disagree with what he said that's the thing but, i don't think i think what happens with with joe is he he's he's very animated in his critique, aggressive with his delivery in his, with his delivery but did you not watch the full pod yeah yeah, yeah i listen I so that listen. the clip was actually taken out of context I right agree. but this so so most so for majority of the pod he actually spent it bigging up Drake. Yeah, right. But that clip that has come out has now portrayed him as if he's dissing Drake. Oh, he's and hating. obviously oh, he's Drake's hating. caught wind of that and he's thinking, right, why is my man dissing me? Right. But, but again, why don't you have people around you just before you pull just before you pull the, yeah. the trigger on the gun, go, hold on a minute. Is that the whole thing? Yeah. Nah, here's the whole thing. But it felt like he's been wanting to say this for time. a long time. Yeah, yeah. Drake, you are the biggest hip hop star in this thing. You can't please everybody. But and, and this is a thing. Some so, constructive feed criticism is always going to come your way. And this is the thing, Drizzy. And this is why I didn't want you to mention the big homie because this is not the big. This is not big homie energy. Big homie don't even mention man. Big homie doesn't. Big homie is not going to get on the IG and talk about anything, bro. He's not. Right. But it's just like, Drake, man, you're a dope artist. Like, yeah. on the way down, it's like, what's my favorite Drake song? Worst Behavior always just pops out like that. But yeah. like, what's my favorite Drake song? I don't know. But there's, I could probably name you 20 yeah. fire ones. Yeah. But you have to, you have to expect there's going to be some constructive criticism to come your way Absolutely. I've got, I've everything got you drop can't hit I've got a question go for it question? If, if Future drops an album on Friday yeah. yeah what would you want what do you want to hear from Future I bet you about the, what, I don't know because it's been a while when's Future last album I feel like it's been like a um, uh, was it two years maybe two and a half years yeah, what are you getting at Jay the one where he's, he's pulling up, he's in the yeah. back of the thing. Yeah, what was that, like two years ago? No, it's, it's kind of like, I never loved you or something like yeah. that. Yeah, but what are you getting at? No, I'm asking a question. What are you expecting to hear from future? future? I want, I'm just saying future. Or what, what do you want to hear from future? I want to hear the, I want to hear the the meme, I want to hear the meme done talking right, shit. Right, so by Zach, so why is it that future at 40 years old isn't said, oh, we want to hear your growth, no, we want to hear okay. about your father. You know why? But why is it Drake, yeah, yeah, Who's still who's, who's new to being a father mm -hmm. hasn't really experienced much of fatherhood. Remember, mm -hmm. his son's probably what only like what five six years old. Yeah, so he's still that's not new father. That's not new fatherhood. That it technically is man. It's not because what lame land. It's it's still fresh. It's not it lame is, land. Come on, especially if when you, you think about the COVID years in between that as well. He's asking the question. Lame land. Get get. Yeah, so it's like 
why are we expecting more from Drake? But mm-hmm. Future, who's 40 years old, yeah. has multiple kids. Uh-huh. We're not expecting to hear about how fatherhood is from Future. Okay. Oh, we, sorry, we don't want to hear what fatherhood is okay. from Future. Real quick, because Future never hid that he has multiple kids. And two, one, <laughs> one of Future's most famous baby mothers is Miss Sierra. And he's said on multiple times, he's even took digs at the guy who's playing stepfather to his child on a couple of records. So I'm cool with that. But Future is not putting out the amount of content Drake is putting out. That's where it really lies. Her loss with 21 came out last year. I don't think it's been a full out a full calendar year yet. It has, it has. It came out um, autumn yeah, last but, year. Yeah, but, okay, but we getting another Drake album in 2023? Yeah, but Juzzy, are we, are we, no one listens to Future about introspective shit, bruv. No, but he has given us some introspective yeah, shit. Yeah, like, but thank you. Yeah, but we don't listen, but that's not, we don't. We, I'm not. List, I've never listened to Future going. I wonder if because he's not that type of artist. Okay, fair enough. In my opinion, okay, where Drizzy is that type. Uh, I, Drizzy was the first man to say he's checking bitches' phones to see what's going in the phones and that. Right. And then Jake has so given us introspective things multiple occasions, okay. Okay. which is why you, we have. Ex, like, which is why we have an expectation, right? So but, Drake. But why, given, but why do we think it should be that he's talking about fatherhood already? No, I was giving Father as just an example. He could talk yeah, yeah, about. I get that. I get that. But he could that. talk about how I've had many famous uh, situations with other females, but I'm still out here looking for love. Rappers, so rap- you want to hear growth from Drake, but not from Future? No, no. Yes, but I've heard, yes, I've heard, yes, I've heard, yes. But but the thing yes. is, I've heard it from it's Future. Though. Yes, I want to hear. I've growth heard from... Future give me some growth, but Future has always set himself as the. Yeah, I'm going to give you the turn up. Yeah, shit. but what? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But that we can't. It's not the same. It's not. You're not. I. We, I personally, I feel like I can speak for the both of us. We're not going to sit down with a, a future album and go, okay, I'm going to listen to bar for bar how he feels about him pushing the push you down the road going to McDonald's with his son. Drizzy, Drake, is going to talk about certain introspective things that's going on in his life because that's who we've, we've, we've been brought up. You know, you, know what I think, you know what I think the fork in the road hit with Drake, yeah? Remember once upon a time, and I don't agree with this, but a lot of t- once upon a time, a lot of people was dissing Drake for the type of records he was making because it was a, a, a appealing to the gallium. Yeah, which is fine. And he was getting hammered about that all the time. Right. And it's like, yo, if you really listen to these records, Drake is spitting some game. Yeah. And if the women are feeling it, Bro, and you, a woman comes hang out with you and you're like, I'm going to put on a new Drake. Bro, that's half the battle won already. Right. And I feel like he kind of took that and it was aggressive criticism. And then he was like, all right, you know what? All right, I'm going to sprinkle the albums of that every so often, but I'm going to come with this new. And I just feel like I get Drake's catering to the younger audience. I understand that. But if the, a younger audience didn't grow up listening to you, and you're now trying to cater to them, they're going to be like, all right, yeah, cool, your I, shit's I think, fire. I but... think Drake's trying to cater for people more my age because Drake's... Drake, I'd probably say that the start of Drake's career is when I'm probably starting to listen to music more. Right. Because Drake Drake releases music from when I'm in the end of primary school right. to throughout my secondary years and yeah. then start my adulthood. So I think he's catering for my generation a lot more. I think he's catering for my age. Which, which is probably why okay. he went to Kai Sonat instead of... Ed. DJ Academics when his album came out. Fair enough. Yeah. To, to tap into that audience. To tap into that audience. Yeah. But Drake. And obviously, obviously, 20, like doing stuff with 21 as well. 21 is someone again who's going to cater to my audience, going to cater to Kai Sinat's age group as well. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it kind of makes sense as well. And when Kai Sinat is jumping on stream, if Kai, Kai Sinat is getting 21 Savage on his streams, he's getting a rich pool. He's yeah. getting all these guys. Drake's going to be like, yeah. Drake's going to be like, yeah, I want, these are all guys who are connected to Drake in some yeah. way. These are guys who yeah. Drake has... It's essentially given a path to. I understand. I, look, I understand Dre's whole ethos in how he's rolled out this album. I get it. I'm not even. I I don't think even Drake should care about how we feel about it. This a, a real artist does what he wants to do. No, and and puts we, out the shit that yeah, he wants to do. But yeah. as you said, you're going to get feedback with regardless because you're a public yeah. figure and your album is going to be received from different types of people who's not only just now got into you but has been listening to you for 10 years plus which is us and the rapid rap shit that he does he puts himself in that ilk he puts himself you heard Jay, you heard Jay Cole say look me you and it's you and me and Kendrick Lamar in this shit 
which is why I hate the conversation when Hove comes. Hove is on his own. Like, that's, like it's the same with them. Again, they, they're comparing Michael Jackson now because obviously hit records with Drake is catching up. But I don't even think that should I be... I don't even think it's catching that's up not even, anymore. I don't I think... That's I, not, but it's not a comparison. It's why not. is it not? It's Michael Jackson is no one, it's no one like Michael Jackson, ever. Never, no one's ever going to be like Michael right. Jackson. If, if, if Drake is the only Drake, person to get this close and is, is going to surpass that's him. Cool, that's cool, Michael. It's cool. People throw their bra on stage at Drake concerts. Michael Jackson had, had, had ambulances on deck to cart people in and out of the concert when he was alive. Let's not do that. Do you know that. one thing I hate let's as well? Do, yeah. I, hate, I hate how we look at nostalgia sometimes because it's like we talk about Ma- like we talk about Michael Jackson so much here, but I, let's he's be the, real. Because he's Michael Jackson. No, but let's, let's move on from Michael Jackson. No, we're not. We can't. We, we, ha- we have to. No, we don't. All we right. should. We can't. But anyway, to break this still, mate, all I'm going to say is, uh, Drake, uh, I'm happy that you're taking a break. I'm happy that you're taking is a that break what, is from that music. What he's he said yeah, he's, 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 he's going to take a break. I'm happy that you're going to take a break. Okay. And my only disappointment, I have not heard the album, so I've been very uh, careful with my critique on the album because I've not heard the album yet. And considering everything that's going on about the album, but it's not about the album, it's kind of put me off of listening to the album right now. Yeah, I hear you. But what I will say is, Drake, is I was, I was just... <laughs> You're, you're Drake. You're the boy. You're the sixth god. You're Champagne Pappy. You're all that shit. I was disappointed in your response to Joe. I, I, I was disappointed when he started And painting. that last line? I was disappointed when he started painting his nails. When bro. you said about the, I've got a 767 or something like that, uh, and you leave, I was like, bro, we're not talking about whose pocket's bigger than who. I just felt like, I was just disappointed. That was, I was just disappointed. He's painting his nails. Drake could, I know, I see that. And he's got the, the things in his hair. I was just disappointed he responded like that. That ain't my rapper. He could have taken that criticism and go, all right, I'm going on a little break. But what does him painting his, painting his nose mean? I don't get it. We don't know. Because Dwayne Wade does it. We don't know. Bro, Dwayne Wade, I don't care. Like, what, what, is, what is Drake painting his nose? When are you going to start nose? painting your nails? Paint huh? nails. Paint when nails. are you going to start painting your nails? I don't, I don't want to paint my nails. Yeah, Why not? Because it's not something I cater to. It's not something I want to do. Why don't you want it's to not do something it? I'm interested in doing. Okay. I do things that I'm interested in and things okay. that bring me money. Is this, okay, so if painting your nails is bring you money, would you paint your nails? Yeah, why not? Cool. Okay. So then you get I'm a, just trying to find out then why. You get, then you get a bun up when you come to the Fast Food Podcast. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I'm just trying to work out why. That's fine. That painting, because the painting the nails thing always used to be black paint and it always used to be related to goth people that in that or, goth or, scene. Or the rock stars. The rock stars and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's fine. Yeah. But it's oh, nice. Oh, so so let's, say, let's say, for example, yeah, mm-hmm. I have a daughter. Yeah. Yeah, and let's say, oh, oh she, what she... What No, no, no. Let's say, let's say my daughter's, I don't know, 10, 11, right? Yeah. And sometimes we're bonding and she just, it, it might just help her, right? It might make her day just by painting my nails here and there, yeah? Or it's something she's practicing to do if she wants to become a business or whatnot. Yeah. What, am I still going to get a bun up? No, why, why are you moving the goalposts? I'm not moving the goalposts. You are? I'm not. Because how is a man painting his nails just for the sake of it, a comparison to your daughter, your flesh and blood, and saying, Daddy, bruv, I see the rock all the time. The rock is like a, a wall with graffiti on it. If a man wants to paint his nose, it's not my business. Hold on, hold on, wait. No, wait, that's his business. Hold on, wait, Essentially, wait. Essentially, okay. that's his business. If we're, pod, if we're, if we're podding, say we're podding, yeah. but men are not supposed to paint their nails. The Fast Food Podcast. podcast. Fast Food Podcast. This is Morgan Heights. Juicy Sack of Freckles in the building. Young Jay in the building. Um, question I have for you, Drizzy. When is it enough when is enough enough? The world is never enough. When your significant other or your wife keeps embarrassing you in public. Is it when she sits around on a red table and tells you oh, she was <laughs> fucking your son's brethren or for an entanglement? Or is it when you start filming your, your husband on the phone without his consent? Or... On the eve of your husband's birthday, she posts a video of her and Tupac doing a running man to parents don't understand. By the way, this your husband has actually expressed that he is jealous of that relationship. When does it become embarrassing? I think we just And when is it enough enough? We just gotta start accepting that Jada Pinkett Smith hates Will Smith. Like it's nothing more, it's nothing less. That's my cousin Will, man. That's my 
cousin. I do, I, Drizzy, I told you. I to, There was an episode where he did the slap. You and Trim were sitting here. And I was trying to express to the mans and them. Trying. Go on. Choose wisely when yeah, you're choosing yeah. the chick. I understand. I respect I, that. And man was say, I don't know what man was saying, but you lot finagled me. You lot almost made me feel like <laughs> I was saying something crazy, yeah. which is why I was animated at the time because yeah. I'm looking at the situation uh-huh. as an embarrassment to mm-hmm. your manhood. Yeah, okay. And as a public figure, you need your wife, significant other, or girlfriend to represent you. Right. Okay, but, okay, just to play angel's advocate here. All right, we've got those... We've got those instances bookmarked, yeah? Yeah. But what about all the other times we don't see where she is probably the best woman to him in the time of need when he needs her to be? Cool. Do do everything either in public or okay. do that yeah, shit right. behind you're right. bars. You're right. You're right. Do, do hide that shit and keep it. Because, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Because at the end of the day, when you're in a relationship, it's cool to let people know mm-hmm. certain things that's going on in I your agree. life. Yep. And leave the rest to mystery. Be consistent. Be consistent. If you if you cater to all my needs when I need it and you're there for me supporting me and et cetera, that, but you Facts. do it privately. Facts. But there were little missteps I do make, it's done publicly. It's then crazy. we have to do everything publicly. Well, well, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we have to do everything publicly. That's a question, Moses. I've got a question for you. Go for it. You're a married man. Of course. Go, go so for it. So if your wife does something dumb in public, yeah, and yeah. she's arguing as if she's in the right, but you know in your mind that this is probably the dumbest thing she's done in your entire marriage, yeah? Yeah. Are you correcting her there and then, or are you backing her? She gets corrected. There and then, you're correcting her in public? Yeah, it's, just, it's happened in public. You're a brave man. No, because, because this is the thing. When, you, when you're in a relationship, especially when you're married, there is a... You reflect each other, right? So... What you do and what she does is a reflection of each other. So when you go outside and you present yourself, mm-hmm. you're not only res- you're not ref- just reflecting yourself. You representing are representing you. You're yeah, representing you're like okay, her that's mis- as, a u- as a union exactly yeah, yeah. Okay. as a union. Yeah. So if you're doing tomfoolery, yeah. your husband is going to feel the ramifications of it and vice versa, yeah. right? So it's like this. For me, Will Smith is the talent. Let's, get, let's, get, let's not get it twisted. Will Smith is the talent of that family. He's the one that makes the bread in that family. The majority of the bread. Jada does a little this and a little that she's and a, whatnot. She's a movie star. Yeah, she does her thing. She's a, okay, she's a star and Will Smith is a global and And, and Will Smith is box office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? At that, one Will point... Smith, Will Smith is an Oscar winner. Yeah, at one point, Same there was a more. period of time, I think just after... En- no, just after Enemy the State because he did Bad Boys. Yeah. Like, there was a run where it's like, if you put Will Smith's name on a poster, you're making pee. Yeah. And he had a run. He's the only person I know that had that run. Put Will Smith's name on the poster. And it goes. People going to the cinema to watch him. Jada has done her bit. She's been in Matrix, Girl's Trip. It's not the same. I understand. But that's the the, the Drake Hove conversation we're having all over again. Okay. Okay, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. No, 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 go for it. No, no, no. no, no, no. You're in in your bag. But I I, I, no, I was just saying all that to say I understand your point. Yeah. I think that, and I haven't finished reading this book yet, so that's that's on me. Okay. But Will Smith's book that came out maybe two, three years ago? Right. Time because you know how time flies. Um he touched on certain things like he used to see his mom getting beat up by his dad. Right. It used to piss him off, but he never fought back. Right. And that's one of his biggest regrets to date is that he never, like he never, whenever there was the fight, whenever he needed to be in the fight, right. he just could never bring himself to, to get in the fight. Right. So this frustration. Right. Right. And I think that needs to be taken into account and like you just have to, I'm just, just be consistent, man. Just be consistent. And... You know, the, the last incident we had, um, it's just like, there was another incident, I believe, when supposedly someone got arrested for Tupac's murder, which is like, all right, whatever. Yeah. And apparently she must have wrote a letter yeah. in, ref- in regards to that news. And I saw a lot of people up in arms about it, and I'm like, I, s- I get your point. 
Because you're thinking, oh my gosh, uh, it's another slap to the face of Will Smith and his man. But and she's that. finding peace of her friend that died. But, okay. That, but this is... That's but, what's but not being looked into. But, 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 that, you, no, because you know, because you got to think about you it like this. Cut, you, this is, and this is why, no, this is because why I, 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 I understand why what, I get vexed. I understand, I understand what you're coming from, yeah? But at the end of the day... That's why this yeah, is vexes, Bro... Man. Cause you got a deep it, but you two, got no. Two packs no, been dead for about how long, bro? And, you're and, still and there's no, and there's not been any clarity or peace over his death, bro. What are we doing, bro? In two thousand and twenty three, bro. Okay. okay. The daughter the Willow already put a letter out saying that oh, two pack, my mum misses you and blah blah blah. You don't forget about that. You and then on the eve of your husband's birthday, your dark, your you got a video out of you and two pack dancing in a video. To your record, parents don't understand. But I don't think she background. meant. I don't think she meant hey, bro, because but, of Will. But, then, but yeah. this is yeah, but you gotta understand though. Yeah, you gotta understand. Though, yeah. you gotta understand. I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna. I, I, I'm guessing that we're not talking from experience here. I'm just oh, yeah. guys. Oh, oh, oh. I, I'm oh, talking, just saying you, you want to get off your chest. Drizzy and Jay. I'm talking from a place of where is the respect coming? When are we? When is Will Smith going to get respect from his wife? Because there's certain things that you need to hold down for the sanctity of your family and your husband. Right. Cool, you got these. I, you, what you what are you telling me is not news. Okay, cool. She loved Tupac. She had a relationship with him. Also met they, best friend. They were yeah. best friends or whatever. Yeah. We know that. That's yeah. not news. Yeah. But why is things keep regurgitating? Why are you keep putting your man on blast and embarrassing not just your man, your husband in public for us to scrutinize it? Because I'm looking at this like bro like and I said this before Jay Jay the Pinkett like I, I I used to love Jay the Pinkett I thought she was fine growing up I thought she was a hottie I was like Jay the Pinkett say it off all yeah. of that I'd loved her but as a man who's married and grown up and understand the dynamics of a relationship mm -hmm. it's the same thing as this me going out and misrepresenting my wife. Now my wife's got to get phone calls. Now my wife has to get this. My wife, do you know Morgs is outside doing this and doing that and misrepresenting your relationship? You got to come home to that. Yeah, but Morgs. How how but, many but, times but, you going but, to do but, 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 to be, be Morgs, disrespectful? Morgs, Morgs, Morgs. You're expecting accountability from a woman. Bro, it's bro. I'm expecting accountability from somebody who says they respect their husband. And clearly she doesn't because yeah, actions speak louder than words. You're expecting accountability from a woman, man. Come on, man. You know, we know how that ends at the end of the day. Right. So I'm gonna say this to the to the to the women out there that's listening and that you're in a relationship with. If you man, if your man is doing the right thing, do the right thing by him. If he's not forget the the other relationships that are going wrong or there's infidelity or there's a Mazzolini. I'm talking about the women who are in good relationships and their man comes home and represents them, respect your man and don't misrepresent him because you are a reflection of him, which makes you look crazy if that happens. It, it's like people don't understand when you're in a relationship. You can go, imagine you in a relationship and then you start yapping off to other people about what your man is doing wrong. That makes you look crazy because you're, that's your man. And people don't get it. People just, people people think that it's a separate, when you're married or you're in a relationship, it's a separate thing. Oh, well, he's doing that. And he, no, that's, you know, that's who you chose. And that's you know, who you, that's who represents you. It's true. Yeah. Cause you know, one thing I've been seeing on Twitter lately, yeah? I've been seeing like, oh, like how certain men would have been in previous relationships. Yeah. yeah. And they're getting a new one. And how they are in that new relationship is a completely different man. Uh -huh. Like they're happier. They're treating the woman differently. And it's like, people will be like, oh, so why couldn't she get all of this? It's like, bro, do you not realize she was the problem then? And and this is the thing. Young. Like, I think, I think people are so quick to point out this and that that's different, yeah. But not actually re... Like... Niggas can't read between the lines. I was watching something. This, this, this is why, this is why black people don't pass English. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was watching this thing on TikTok, yeah. Not on Black History Month. Not, come on. Save <laughs> that, I am save black, for, I am black for one month. I was, I, was, I was watching this thing on TikTok, yeah, where I can't remember who he was. I think he does a podcast and he was explaining to some other lady on the, in the clip where he was like, when you're in a relationship and you have an argument, does your significant other run to family members and does the family members or the women that they, the people they run to disrespect you? Yeah. Or do they go, go back to your husband because he's doing the right thing and I want you two to be together 
and what you're telling me you can fix yeah. or are the, those people you're going to kind to separate you from that relationship because this is the problem right. I would in my relationship I would never go to my mum and diss my wife no I would and, and if even if I did do that my mum would tell me about myself yep and my dad would tell me about myself because mm -hmm. I'm relying on them to keep me together yeah. and vice versa. And so the thing is as well, yeah, with your parents, yeah, they know you. Yes. They know Morgan. Yes. The, they know Morgan the child. Yes. Morgan the teenager. That's right. Morgan the young adult. Exactly. And that's and that's what there's not enough of. Leading on from that, because um, yeah. we're talking about choices. Mm -hmm. Did you... I don't know if you heard about this story, but it 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 it, it came across me. Pause, and hey, I was, hey, <laughs> and, hey, and, hey. and it was very interesting because of the ramifications of this. And I want to speak to you guys about this, right? So, uh, the gentleman is called uh, Trevor Bauer. Free, 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 Jonathan Majors. Go on, carry on. <laughs> um, Trevor Bauer is an American professional baseball pitcher. Yeah. whose net worth is around 51 million. Um, <laughs> and in 2021, he was Big accused rings. of sexual battery mm -hmm. right? by this nasty, sadistic lady called Lindsay Hill. So as the story unfolds, texts start to surface. Phone texts were exposed with her saying to her friend, next victim, star picture from the Dodgers. Then, by the way, these are texts before he, she even met Donnie, right? Then the texts went, what should I steal? Reply, his money. She's gone. She then says, I'm going to his house on Wednesday and I've already got my hooks in him. You know how I roll, right? So then after this, after this time has elapsed, more texts surface. Oh, by the way, his net worth is 51 million. The response is, bitch, you better secure the bag. These are texts. Need daddy to choke me out. I need to be, I need to be more of an absolute whore to try and get his 51 million. Right? <laughs> so listen to this now. Her legal team has, has approached Trevor multiple times with, uh, to reach a settlement. Of course, I bet they have. Right? And Trevor's gone, I ain't doing it. Fuck that shit and backed his corner. So only in 2001, it's gone to court. Lindsay's claim made her claims. 2021 uh, or 2021? 20, sorry, 2021, my right. bad. During the legal proceedings, information was unlawfully withheld by, by her. The prosecutor. By, yeah, by, mm -hmm. to the team. So a leaked video has surfaced where Lindsay is filming herself waking up in the morning in Trevor's bed and smiling at the camera. More importantly, no signs of bruising or marks was on her face. Free Jonathan Majors. Right? After hearing all this information, the judge has deemed it misleading and the judge uh, said no to sexual assault and, and everything had to be dropped. The charges were dropped. They ended up dropping charges. There was a suit. There was, he sued her and she countersued her, but just nothing happened from it. And then the lawyers come to return and said, let's drop the case. Anyway, when I hear stories like this, yeah, it gets frustrating because, uh, let me ask you lot this question now. Should there be a law in place that if someone is yes. falsely accused yes. Isn't there in the courts, a law in place? there is not. There is not. Defamation of character? Yeah, we need that. That's not defamation of character. Yeah, that, it is. You accused of sexual assault. That is defamation of character because essentially what you're expecting the world to portray you as is an abusive person, yeah. over possessive, controlling. Defamation of character is is it it comes under under that to a degree, but that's more of name calling and disrespect. Sexual assault is like your that's that's your career in the bin. Yeah, like that's sponsorships. But then, but then that's something that should fall under defamation of character. I, mean, essentially, I, think, I think there's different tiers to is the umbrella of essentially, defamation of essentially, character. Essentially, you said a man is an abuser, an enabler, and a, essentially... Calling a man a rapist. Yeah. What was it that Johnny Depp and my girl went through? Was that, defa um, that, was that defamation? Well, she was accusing him of similar things, right? And yeah. I was violent towards her and, you know, he used to like keep her hostage and everything. Yeah, that's... 
I think it's. I think it's just. I think defamation of character is an umbrella term, right, for many things. Right. Some are more higher, uh, higher, higher up, and more like yeah, yeah, holy yeah. shit than yeah. others. But yeah. I think it's an umbrella term for quite a few things. Right. I think this is defamation of character because you're basically telling the world this guy sexually assaulted me, and therefore he's a monster. A bitch should get t- to get jail time for that shit, right? It's happening too many times. And now with this Jonathan Majors thing, they keep pushing the ball further down the road. His, his defense is saying, look, we've got the date in line. We think the case should be thrown out because of the, 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 the evidence we have. The prosecutors missed the date to confirm whether they want the trial to go on or, or close. And he's just leaving the man in limbo. Yeah. And the, 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 the accuser is nowhere to be found. Apparently, she's back in London now. Jonathan Majors' his career is in limbo. Is in, is in, his career is in was on a rocket ship going to the fucking moon. And then this thing happened. And then... Bro, didn't Kang and Creed drop in like six months between each other? What happened? Bro, both the films, Ant-Man yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, Creed dropped yeah, yeah, in like yeah, six yeah. months between each other. Yeah, yeah. Bro, bro couple, he, was, couple, he yeah. was the new Thanos, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah his trajectory was... My brother Caden reckons he was asked to do something. He said no. And we're in this situation now. A, a conspiracy theory something right. because it just it's just too the evidence is there you go online right now and say Jonathan Major's evidence you're going to see all these evidence that show her outside talking to her friends and he's walking from an opposite direction and she tried to reach out to me just walk straight by like keeps it moving she's in a nightclub having a good time this the only good thing that's come out of this situation for Jonathan Majors is he's dumped shorty and he's with Megan Good I just think he's the, living a good life. I just think there's flaws in oh, the, I, I, the I, I think there's flaws in the law, bro. But 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 you should, there has to be ramifications to be. for you telling the public I am a monster. Yeah. When I say to you I'm not, and you just had uh uh you just had uh, ulterior motives yeah. in regards to me, my status, etc. When it comes out that you have been found out to be caught out lying, you filmed yourself, you've got these back and forth texts with your brethren and that, when there's that much evidence, you have to Facts. publicly say the same energy you was given to accuse me of being a monster is the same energy I need for you to apologize publicly. And then you have to get some jail time. Whatever jail time I was going to get for what you yep. was accused, forced yeah, accusing yeah, me yeah. of. Hold, you need Maybe to you have that. to get all of that or half of it. Yeah, you I have don't to know, hold it. You have, to, you hold have it. to hold it. Yeah, 100%. Someone has 100%. to be made an example because no one has been made an example of this and still in 2023, we're still talking about people setting up people and when the job doesn't get done, they switch around and what do they do? They'll either make you come across as a rapist in that case or you're a racist. They, they try and paint you with these, these names, these titles that taint... Your you your name yeah and your and your and your brand and you can't once you can't your name it with certain things yeah once the bruv, we've seen people be accused of something falsely accused of it and it comes out they was lying on that person's name the energy is never the same it's never the, the energy same. is never also, the same also it's never the I same. don't care how much money you have in this world yet no one cannot tell me that going to court and all these lawyer fees is not expensive bro. Bruh. Well, this is what happened. He, this, he, he, he dropped the charges. This Trevor guy, he dropped the charges because she couldn't afford to pay anything. So it was like he fight. He fought his corner and spent what he needed to he's spend. He's a better on his man lawyers. than me, boy. But he was like, she, like he was just like, I just want everything done. He's a better man. He's but, a right. better man. He's. But he, I, I agree. He, what, what, what was he? Oh, by the way, uh, it's coming up to mental health day real soon. Like, what was his mental state? He probably couldn't even. His team. Probably said to him straight away, hey, buddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How about you don't come in until this thing clears up? Yeah. I mean, he was at the, he was, he, his, he got dropped and everything, bro. He was working. He was a, he's a ba- professional baseball player. But this is the same player. thing Jonathan Majors. As soon as this news broke out, got nobody, nobody in this current climate we live in where everyone is judged during execution and nobody takes five minutes to pump the brakes and go, you know what? We've been dealing with this guy or this girl for X amount of years now. Now, we're not with them 24 hours a day, but from our interactions with them, we've never once thought they was like this. You know what we're going to do? No comment until further notice. Yeah, That's all you have to do. Yeah. His team could have been like, hey, buddy, you know what? Let's just... Uh, let, let, let's just... We'll, we'll just... 
you know what? Go have a little, go have a little annual leave, yeah. as I like to say in in the workplace. Go have a little annual leave, and then we'll we'll, we'll reconsider this yeah. later on in the time. No one does that. Everyone's just quick, like, whoa, Jonathan Mates has got accused of, pew, gone. I'm going to fire him, pew. Oh, yeah, we've been his, uh, his agent for 10 plus years. We're dropping him in an instance. Like, he wasn't making you money to cover how many mortgages you got and all that. And he was just on the rise. They're quick to just drop the people. Yeah, it's crazy. And then when the, the truth comes out now, you lot look worse <laughs> you got, or on par with the you, person that was making accusations you gotta see you gotta see the um, interview now with this girl Lindsay Hill she's been interviewed by some Donnet yeah. and the Donnet is asking her questions with regards to how this is whole, how this is all unfolded and you can still see her lying like they, like you, and, this is the, and this is the bro. thing yeah there's she's women that are just bad man bad it's breed disgusting. man bad breed a woman look, bro. You might look some delight is out. I'm not even I'm not even trying to give you lot the game. I bet at the end of the day, why don't you just befriend him, fall in love, pop, 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 and just enjoy that life? Why you want to steal from the guy? You could have been his girl, especially if you're single. Why, what, what, well, what's wrong with being his girl? She said, I want him to strangle me and that, and and like, like it's basically, she. Uh, it's disgusting. They, they, there has to be, they, bruv, there has to be. You have to pay yeah, be rather for, for, for these, these these nasty, disgusting mastermind yeah, tactics. Yeah, you How are you waking up in the morning and go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go fuck up someone's life and uh, and falsely accuse him of some despicable things. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, fuckery, bro. Yeah. Things like, bro, be I don't like back, believe... It got to be like back in the day. I don't believe in a man putting his hand on a woman. Yeah. But you see situations like that. If a man said, Yo, I had to box her in the face because I realized she's filming me and she's giving it, you'd be like, Boy, yeah. I don't condone what you did, my brother, <laughs> but I can see how you might have got that flashing like rage. You got right there. You, you, you should poison her or you something. You could have just man. asked, Man, borrow me a dollar. I need a dollar, 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 Set, all I but need. This is, but this is what's been going on, and, and athletes and, uh, and all these type of. Um, uh, st- Sports stars, they get it gets peak for them sometimes. Bro, just just tell man, look, man, I will, I will get in a yoga position and suck you off for for ten. She bags. probably did, bro. She probably did. But just ask him. Just yeah, say, look, yeah. break me off a little yeah, something, yeah, something, yeah. and I'm a, I'm a bring I'm gonna bring some. Like, okay, every girlfriend I bring around for sexual activity, let's just put just let's just say that's two k. So if I bring five round, that's ten, right? Plus you, me, yeah. like twelve. What are we saying? Do you think, a good time and do you think it, you could get caught out like that if you had the peas and you was in that situation? Do you think it's easy for a woman to catch you out like that? Bro, imagine. Ima- bro, first of all, you have to be careful of who, who's who and who wants what, right? Yeah. But it's easy, bro. Especially if it's a nice little thing. She, yeah. The way she's talking, she's probably done so much research she, on him. Yeah, she, agreed, she probably yeah, met him yeah. at his favourite shop that he likes to get. <laughs> His favorite little burger and, and toast or whatever and a little milkshake. And she's like, oh my God. She tried to pretend she didn't know who he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, I like, oh, you like this milkshake? And she probably said to him, like, he probably goes, oh, what's your favorite fruit? And she goes, strawberries. And he goes, oh, mine too. And he goes, well, how do you like to consume your strawberries? She goes, oh, I like it with some ice cream, some milk, and a milkshake. He's like, oh my God, me too. And he goes, some milkshakes in here are really nice. He goes, oh my God, listen, this is why I come here off season to get a little milk. Got him. That's what they do, bro. It's just disgusting. It's horrible, fam. you know. It's horrible. It's disgusting, bro. Yeah. Well, based on that, I feel like definitely justice needs to be done, and and people need to need jail time for these situations. Um, fast food podcast intermission period. Woo, we need one. Uh, Jeez, yeah, that was pretty dense. It's, it's a real, it's a real one. Um, intermission period. Fast food podcast. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. You are now listening to the Fast Food Podcast. Podcast. Intermission period. Fast Food Podcast. Episode 16. That was Rick Ross featuring Meat Mills. Or Meat Mills featuring Rick Ross, Shaq and Colby. Um, shout out to the man them. Yep. I feel like there's an album waiting. Hopefully. Yeah, I think so. Um, Still waiting on that Drake Rosé album. But it's all right. We'll wait. We'll wait. Um... Jay-Z's, Jay-Z said that his cousin uh, <laughs> needs to do better. <laughs> he he Bro, said, he, you know it's, what? It, 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 it's a nigga that don't work that way. 
do you know a lot of people? This is what I knew. This is when I really knew people on Twitter were stupid. Yeah, know? talk to me. Because all they were like was, "Oh, if you're a billionaire, you tell him you can't have, you don't have five grand to spare for your cousin." Yeah. No, his cousin essentially asked him to make an investment into his business. Yeah. That's what the, that's what they that because he said, "Ho said." He said, borrow him like 1400 or something. Yeah. You know, like, borrow 4, me, me 4800 4, 4, I, right. I got this thing I'm trying to run. And then I'm going to flip it and then I'll bring you back two mil. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But then Jay was like, that's not how, that's it, works. Not how it works. <laughs> and I don't think he was saying that's not how it works in regards to like, I'm not gonna you've got it, you, you, this amount of money, you can flip it into that. Yeah. It's just like, just ask, like, that's not how it works. Like, just, you've got, I think Cove is at a stage now, it's like, you got to bring it to me as a plan. Yeah. Like, look, this is stage one yeah. to five or what I want to do. Yeah. And then he'd be like, all right, cool. Yeah. I'm assuming. I don't think, bro, like this I, guy's I, I, made too yeah. many people millionaires exactly. to, to stress over that and do you money. Think, and do you think the, his, this is one of his cousins that always ask him for money? Maybe. Like the 18th time. Yeah, oh, this is the last time. Sorry, I mean, Sean, cousin Sean, this is the last. Like, bro, like people, this is what drives me insane with people. There's too many pocket watchers who aren't earning what said person's earning, but want to tell said person how to spend their money. Yeah. But they're the same idiots that will let a person who's worth multi-million dollars say to them, oh yeah, we need your help for charity. Yeah. And you're going to dump your money in that charity. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, it's facts. These are the same guys that aren't even making, what, 15 pound an hour, but they can lend their brethren 20 quid. It's crazy. Kevin, Half these motherfuckers still owe their brothers money they borrowed from them anyway. But you want to tell hey, people to their money? Hey, hey, I saw a couple of niggas talking about this topic. But when I, when it was time to buy you free wings and chips after school, you was there asking. What them. we doing? I think I think I think Hove is probably looked after his whole family in, 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 and all his immediate family. And I feel and like that cousin that he spoke to has already been blessed. Imagine, yeah, you didn't. Even, imagine you become a billionaire. Because I've always said, when I become a billionaire. I'm going to bless people, but they're not even going to realize yeah. they've been blessed by me. Yeah. They're just going to be like, oh shit, something's changed. And they'll probably be like, oh, thank you, Lord, for whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. But like, if I've put you, I haven't given you, say, 70K, but I've put you in an apartment that's yours. I've bought it outright. That's mm. your apartment. You've got a roof over your head until the end of time. And you have a job. No time you have, yeah. You've already got a job. How Still gonna come to me saying, "Yo, yo, Dre, man, boy, what? Can you hit man up with a little 10k? Because like, basically, the way my account set, Negro, I gave you a flipping rule over your head. You're it's blessed. The, it's the internet reaching because the, the interview was old as well. The Kevin Hart interview. He did that sway. Did that like beginning. That's of like the year. two years ago. Was it two like years ago? Something like that. Yeah, but it's yeah, like, yeah. bro, what reaching. are we doing? You're Don't reaching. tell people how but, to spend their but, money. But even then, yeah, Jay Z is right. Because if his cousin, I guarantee you now, if his cousin came, with him, came to him with a business plan that was looking legit, had whiteboards up, showing him the direction where he wants his growth to be, Jay-Z would have given him that money to cool. Yeah, let's run it. He might have even doubled it. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you, 4,800, what is that? 50 grand, basically. No, 5K. Oh, no, that, bro, no, that, 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 bro, 5K is... No. That, five, listen no. to this, listen to this, listen to, listen to this. 5K, yeah. It was better that he just asked Jay to have that five. Jay, can I have five K? Because Jay would have probably he was just, better off. Jay would have just given it. Just give. Oh. I would have just bro. If but he, he was better off. If, lying, I'm, a, if, if I'm a billionaire, bro, and you said Morgs, bro, I don't want to. I don't want a business plan. Hold that, bro. bro but if you're a billionaire, why am I? Why? Why am I aiming so low? Also, 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 also. Five K and you're a billionaire. Wait, wait. Also, also, also. Jay Z never said he didn't give it to him. Yeah, exactly. He just said don't work like he that. He just said it doesn't work like that. Yeah. I'm so not, I'm not eight. I'm not the. So everyone, ATM, everyone, everyone on their raw self on Twitter that's that's quote tweeting it, messaging underneath saying, oh, you, oh, you couldn't. This Jay Z guy. Well, you got cheap, two, isn't it? Well, and they're talking about, oh, let's think about how much two million is, two billion is compared to five k, bro. Bro, bro. All he said is that's not how it works, fam. I am not the family eight, bro. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be. We, we, we always keep it one hundred yeah. on this spot, yeah. As Americans like to say, keep it a bean. Yeah. If I win the lottery, mm -hmm. I'm talking the big boy lottery, like a, a 50 M's upwards. I don't think anyone in my family is going to know I've won 50 M's. Right. They're going to definitely um, gonna benefit it, from it, know it, but they're not going to know I have 50 M's plus in my 
in my possession. Yeah. Uh-uh. But I will bless you in, in certain ways and you won't even know it's from me. Yeah. And I'll just sit back and, and be happy that you're happy with this new... Say, for example, you said, oh, oh man, I've been really trying to do the, get a range. I'm trying to do, see if I can get a little overtime at work, boom, 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 so I can put down for this range. I'm hearing you saying this all this time. And now that I'm sitting on 50 plus M's, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to get this guy this range. <laughs> I, just pl- pl- I just pattern it up a certain way. You're not yeah. even going to realize it's me. Yeah. You're not going to realize it's me. If that shit, bro, five grand is such a but limit. Why are you? That's, that's co- you know I'll get, get vexed with it. I'll, if man asks me for, if I was a billionaire, uh, man asked me for five grand. I'm, I'm bro, Jay-Z is probably like, oh, who's this donut? You. This I'm donut gonna, ain't from uh, my uh, side I'm, of the family. I'm, I'm slap you. How are you asking a billionaire for five uh, grand? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. Don't disrespect me. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, come yeah, correct yeah, with yeah, a businessman yeah. say, I need 100K. I'll be like, oh, well, what, what did uh, Leonardo DiCaprio say in Django? Before you had my curiosity, <laughs> now you have my attention. <laughs> Drop it, man. All right. But Hove, like, like, if you want to sponsor the, the pod, we yeah. can bring your business plan. Cause we're on the up in it. But like, if you want to drop a little 500 grand on us to pattern up our thing, you know what I mean? We're not asking yeah. for too much, but at the same time... They're, they're asking for 500 oh. grand. I'm ask, I, I just need 10K and, I, and, and I'll be successful in this well, touch you, career. You, you could be lowballing yourself, <laughs> but I want 500K. <laughs> what? <laughs> All I need is 10 racks and I'm sorted. <laughs> Have you, uh, have, you, alive with have, you ever, have you ever slept with someone's mum while the baby was in another room or a cot? What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can you can you can you repeat that one? No, he doesn't need to. <laughs> do no, 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 no. Not for me. Oh, what? <laughs> just just repeat that one one more time. Have, have you slept with someone's mum while a baby, while her baby is in another room or in a cot? So, for those of you listening to this podcast. Morgz has just asked the, the, the people, have you ever slept with someone's mum and the baby's in the other room? <laughs> yeah. For those of you who do not watch our YouTube videos, Drizzy is currently sitting on the couch with his hand on his face and his eyes are shut wide. Bro, that same baby's all grown up now. I saw her at carnival this year. <laughs> For fuck's sake. The Fast Food Podcast. Podcast. Yeah, bro. And the baby didn't make no noise, you know. The baby was quiet, bro. You know some babies make enough noise. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I was lucky. The baby did. The baby just went to bed while, while I went to Pound Town, bro. Not like that. On another note, that food looks good. Is that prawns in there, though? <laughs> or sh- or is it? Is it? Pr- oh man, that just spoiled the thing. That looks good, man. I see the. I see a prawn in there. Oh, what? The baby never made a sound. <laughs> I did a back carnival. And, yo, anyway, let me do. Let me keep it moving. Yeah, jiggy, 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 yeah, jiggy, buddy, buddy, right, buddy, Juicy, buddy. let's go through it. I, I'm not gonna. I'll, do you want the list or not? Favorite TV shows, eighties and nineties TV shows. Do you want the list or do you have you got head top list? Eighties uh, and nineties. Yeah, your favorite um, ones. Can we? Is the bell first working? First of all, the, 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 nah, the first one would be Ninja Turtles. Uh, TV probably, shows. Yeah, that was a TV yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you're going cart. You're going more down the cartoon. Night Rider. Here we go. Um, we right I here. would say. Um, Night Rider, that oh, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air was nineties. Fresh Prince of Bel Air was Saved by the Bell nineties. Saved by the Bell. Um, remember Airwolf? I remember that one. Um, there was also remember Roseanne. Ooh, Roseanne, you know. Um, what about Cheers? Do you remember Cheers? Cheers. Cheers, Cheers um, is called. Uh, Do you remember I remember hanging with Mr. Cooper? Yeah, 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 yeah. Standard. Dope, yeah. dope shit, dope shit. Um, Moesha. Moesha. There was Living Colour. Living Colour. Martin. Can't forget Martin. Sister, Def Comedy Jam. Sister, sister. Yeah. Where are we going with this though? Because we're just yeah. reading off names. Yeah, we're, going, we're going through them. This, is, this feels like a very black history month kind of thing still. So, uh, remember the dinosaurs? Bro, that was my shit. Yes. <laughs> remember the dinosaurs? Yep, yep. Alf. Yep. Come on, Alf is cold. 
Do you remember? Were you old enough to watch Chips? I remember Chips, but later on. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. You know what? You know they were police officers, right? Yeah, 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 one yeah. of them is actually a police officer, right? That's now. mad. Punch is one of them guys. Frank he Punch. was getting gal. I remember oh, him, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, Latino yeah, looking yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, Punch. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was getting gal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Miami, Miami Vice. Miami Vice. Car we're on there. Uh, home Improvement. Yeah, yeah. Remember Home Improvement? Yeah. The Donny that had like he, was the dad of the house that knew I had to but build you know, things. You know that's Woody, right? Is it from a? Uh, Who's that him? Voice story. That's his. Him. He's Same on the voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden Girls. No, hold on. Is it, no, sorry. He's Buzz Lightyear. Sorry. He's Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Golden Girls. I remember Golden Girls. Remember uh, Fame? No. Okay, Fame was like uh, loads of kids that used to go to a theater and dance. Okay. And, uh, Is was, that where that song came from? Fame, I want to live forever. And there was a guy called Lee. How else does it go? I just want to learn how to fly. I went to start it together. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's a guy in there called Leroy. I think he was a b- Um Cosby Show. Remember that? Remember Cosby Show? Can we mention that show? <laughs> just, 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 for, just. What can we mention? Can we mention? B- I don't know. <laughs> anyway, what else we got, man? Because right, there's a show called Manimal. Okay. Old. Right. It's basically a guy, yeah. He's called Jonathan Chase. Is this 1983? And his his dad, him and dad went to Africa. Okay. And he, fucked, he fucked with the Juju man them. And yeah. he came back and he could change into like a panther. Nice. He could change, he could morph into like an eagle. There was a, a Brave Star. There was a Brave Star show like Brave that. Brave Star, like that strength for the bear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dukes of Hazards. Remember Dukes of Hazards? Was you old enough for that? No. Nah. I, 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 I watched the I watched the movie though. Yeah. With uh no, I'm thinking of um Yeah, the Dukes of Hazards, the movie is That one with Snoop. No, yeah, and um What's the one with Snoop and, in it, and, man? Not Adam Sandler, it's the other Donny. Um other. um Ben Stiller. It's ben Stiller. And Owen Wilson. Wilson. I don't think it was Dukes of Hazards though. That is Dukes of Hazards. You sure? That is it. That's that's the film. That's the film version of it. Uh the original, same the it was like a it was Starsky and Hutch, bro. A Starsky and Hutch. That's the one with Snoop in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, knew, yeah, yeah. I knew that. Starsky. Starsky yeah, of course Hutch. you did. Do you remember Cagney and Lacey? I heard that that one. Yeah. Cagney and Lacey. Saved by the Bell. You mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Where Bev- we going with this? Sorry, Bev- by the way. Bevy Hills nine zero two one zero. Yeah, of course. Where we going with this? Dawson's sorry. Creek. Yeah, okay. Where we going with this? It's my favourite show. Is that? Okay, cool. Oh, you just wanted to reminisce? Yeah, I just wanted to. Oh, remember. okay, cool. I thought it was, I thought it was the end game, but all no, right, no. Cool. I just wanted to. I just wanted to have. You know what I mean? Just break up the thing. Baywatch. Oh, Baywatch. Baywatch was like Love Island before Love Island, where it's like they used to just showcase the hotties who would just then leave oh. and they would just go, to, yeah, yeah, and yeah. They would just go clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baywatch. Have you seen some... what Pamela Anderson looks like now, though? No. Nah. Yeah, she's the. Oh, bro. I would. Don't, don't spoil it for yourself. Just forget I even said that. What about Tracy Bingham? Have you seen Tracy Bingham? Tracy Bingham. I, mean, I think Tracy Bingham's like the first queen uh, sister on there. I haven't seen her. Is she butters? Is she butters now? No, I mean, she's buff on the show. I'm assuming okay. black don't crack, so I'm assuming it's the same. Right. It's just she probably makes tea as opposed to cocktails now. But <laughs> yeah, she still, I reckon she still looks the part. But anyway, all right, so all I just right. wanted to reminisce. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to okay, reminisce. Cool. reminisce. The Fast Food Podcast. Podcast. The David Beckham documentary. This is one of my favorite documentaries. If, if, if I had the time... I would watch probably the last two episodes again, just because it's really interesting content based on stuff I didn't actually know about David Beckham. So um, he's got a four-part series out, uh, documentary, four-part documentary. It's out on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Um, Rav, it's... It's 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 last dance esque. It's up. I, it is, I think yeah, it it's is. up there with the last dances of the world. I couldn't find out who filmed it, who directed bro, it, bro. You you never seen Succession? No. The Donny in Succession is the one doing the interviews. There's a Donny in Succession who was like Logan's like really? right hand man. He he looked. He had uh, glasses. He looked a little bit like a like a little bit of a scumbag, like a creepy guy. But he was there right to the end. He I seen in one of the clips. He's a guy who was doing. Asking the questions. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know that. But yeah, so if you see ever watch Succession, 
you'll see him and you'll probably hear his voice and go, right, that's the guy who did that. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was like a consultant in Succession, but yeah. Um, Amazing documentary. Amazing. I didn't know his dad filmed and captured or received like over three, a hundred, about a thousand, I think it's about a thousand tapes of him playing football as mm -hmm. a kid from matches, football matches. He was a stickler. My big Man United fan, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, That's why he's, he's uh, one of his middle names is Robert. Uh, yes. Because of uh, Bobby Charlton. For Bobby Charlton. So his name is, me and him got the same, me and him share the same middle name, Joseph. So his name is David Robert Joseph Beckham. It's cold blood. And I, I think, don't get me wrong, as a Manchester United fan, it definitely reminded me of why I love my club. Yeah. And it would be the same for you if it was a, a Gerard uh, doc in depth like this. Same for you if it was a. Who come through the ranks like that, man? Like, Don't worry uh, about it. No? Yeah. Um, but what it is, I will, right? I will share a Fabregas doc. No. One uh, of them mm, ones. Mm, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But I uh, think the underlining thing in this documentary was, one of it was the, the presence of a father. I don't think that is going to get talked about enough I did, or I, it has yeah, been yeah, talked yeah, about. Yeah. But the fact that his father was such a big part of his life, yeah. it helped and contributed to him getting to where he got to. 100%. Because the amount of man hours he were, or, or hours he was putting into... His son. And he was just like, cross it again. But yeah. But you know what I've noticed though? David Beckham himself was very passionate about football. Absolutely. Like he stayed, his mum and dad were saying that he went outside and kicked the ball. Oh, and, what? and He was always at... His the, friends are going nightclubs like, nah, yeah, I'm just going to play football. He was on ball hard. Um, also, the sending off in the... Yeah. World Cup. 1998 World Cup against Argentina. He said he still thinks about it till today. I yeah. didn't realise how much fucking heat he got from that. That was bad. Man. Yeah. He got as, heat, as, as a Manchester United fan, that's probably... Outside of these times, that's probably one of the worst times. Yeah, I think, I think, as a Manchester United fan, that we've experienced was when Beckham. Went even through that. Them, I think, like in terms of like abuse in football, I think that before was the start. I think before what happened in the Euros, mm -hmm. that's probably the worst abuse an England player has ever. That's had. a good shout. I like that. That's that a good might shout. be because even you've like, never seen it on that because even me, yeah, like that wasn't my error in it. But it's like even my dad explained it to me the other day, like. He may have been public enemy number one. Like absolutely, yeah, bro. It's crazy. Even even when it happened, he, he also flew over because he's obviously Victoria, yeah. his wife was a Spice Girl. He must have gone America for a while to kind of just get away from things. And as soon as he come back and started the season, they were booing him at matches every match. Yeah. Bro, Tim Sherwood. Did you not see that elbow he got? Yeah, one of, I remember that. Was that. Tim Sherwood. Yeah, and. What's his name? Glenn, the other guy. Glenn who, Hoddle who was a... Tried to tackle him. Yeah, yeah. Like, there, bro. Try to take his knee. And the good thing is, he had, like, man, like, Roy Keane around him. Yeah. Who, as soon as them tackles, Roy Keane yeah, was like, yeah, hang yeah, on, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, what yeah, we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Ran up to man, like, yo, yeah, you're you not... Fuck with, do, yeah, Roy Keane was me on job. It. Let's go. Um, Glenn Hoddle is a pussy, y'all. To this day. To this day. Glenn, Glenn no, Hoddle is... Allow my man, man. He survived the heart attack. Glenn, Glenn, bro. Don't allow my man. All right, all right. Allow my man. Health-wise, we're happy you're still here. But in regards to football in turn, Bro, you did the person. number one sin of a manager and a player. You put man out to dry and you left him out to hang to dry. And when the shit kicked off, you never once jumped in and goes, you know what, guys? When they lo Because look, people always forget, and they mentioned in the documentary, England could have still won that game yeah, if they put their penalties. It went to penalties. They didn't. And then oh, it's like, yeah, well, but, yeah, but no, English, we really got Eng let down. Englishmen and, English and penalties, man. Yeah, but nah, he, he could have just said, you know what, it's a team game. And collectively, but he left Beckham out to dry. He left him bro. out to dry. David Beckham got got some serious hate mail. Even got a bullet in the mail, bro. Man, I, I there was a, there was a, a dartboard yeah. with his face in the middle. There was like a bunch of pagans around it, and they had him as a public enemy number one. And it was bro. The, uh, the effigy outside the Puritan. Mad. In the pub, bro. And the guy who owned the pub said, he "Oh, care. it's not mine. I just borrowed it." Bro, what? What a guan with Donnie, oh, I didn't bro. kill the person. I just gave him the knife. Bro, what I loved about this, <laughs> what I loved about this is, right, when I clocked it, there's so much things I clocked. David Beckham was so iconic that bro. he transcended. Mm -hmm. Like, he was like, uh, he transcended Man United. And you got to remember, Man United at that time is the biggest thing. Clear. 
clear, bro. Man, clear then. They were winning everything in that era and one player yeah. transcended it all. He he got into fashion. He was a rock. Bro, he was bro, out, he bro, is, he was at, outside. He is the poster child for, in my humble opinion, and my favourite player is Ronaldinho. Yeah. And my second favourite player is probably Ronaldo R9. Yeah, yeah. And R9 was outside. Yeah. But Beckham, was I guy. believe yeah, Beckham yeah. is the poster child for of that. being the first global superstar. For global yeah, cause, superstar. Because of his wife. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. She, what do you mean no? No. I said I mean no. I I would go as far as to say she contributed to that. No, she is the re- Shall I tell you why, yeah? Right, Spice no. Girls are the biggest band, girl band of they all were, time. At that time. Yeah. 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 No, still to this day, they are still the biggest yeah, girl yeah. band of sure. all time. Yeah, yes. Yeah, girl band, yeah, yeah. Yes. Sure. 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 What big yeah. what but what not not Destiny's Child. Now they're bigger than this yeah. show. All what? due respect. They, I, don't, I don't know. I'm they, asking nah, the they, question. All due respect to Destiny's Child. You got to understand, yeah? Spice Girls, they, they, bro, they have what's called Spice World. The Spice Girls ran the world, Right, bro. right, right. That's a fact. Like, they were got, like the Michael, they were like Michael Jackson type. Big deal. Because Morgs, even I was like you, yeah? Till my dad showed me how young I was. My dad, I said it, yeah? Joe was in the room with me. Yeah, Joe didn't even say anything to me. Yeah, I said no. David Beckham wasn't that big because of the Spice Girls, because because of because of, of Posh Spice. Bruv, Joe looked at me twice. Yeah, and he just said, "Dad." <laughs> my dad came in the room. Like, dad, dad, listen to your. Yeah. Said, "Dad, listen to your son." Bro, man, this this claim by bruv, my brother. So, I, bruv, I, my, I, I like, hundred percent. Like, hundred percent. He's saying that like people didn't really care about footballers until like until. That moment where Victoria and David are together now, and it's like yeah, he's did. now going to fashion shows with her. They did bits. He's now he's now in the but scene more. So people feel, are people are seeing David Beckham more because of her. But I feel like, like he was on the cusp. I feel like he was making little rumblings on a football level. He was making little rumblings like Adidas was like, we got to make this guy the poster child of our brand. But, but then when little you when you Adi, but then when you Adidas make him the poster child, like Bro, after that, that his, was before. I think, I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, time wi- timeline, timeline wise, wise it's before I think Victoria. it was like, after he did that madness with that, when, with when, that. Did, his, when did his Predator boot come out? Because there's a, there's a Beckham Predator boot, the black, red and white ones. Right, but before that, he had, yeah, he, was, he had, he, he, he basically owned Predators. Predators was his thing. When yeah. he did that mad, when he did that mad loop. The free kick. Kick. Uh, 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 was, a, was it against Oh, Paris? the loop kick against yeah. um or Leeds was it one of them guys or Wimbledon one of them yeah he then became a household name because yeah. rival fans was like did you see that David yeah, Beckham yeah, goalie yeah. score because Pele, Pele like, almost did and you have to think about yeah. it though yeah like as big as football is you got to think about him into the fashion industry in some in some sense because you remember yeah when when you don't really look at football as fit and fits until then. When he's probably the first footballer who he fit. What did you say? Look. His footballer fits, as in like what they're wearing. Oh, I was gonna say. I oh, thought okay. you said he was fit. I was gonna mm. say. So you gotta let him learn because I, I know. because like yeah. yeah go on, like when you think about it, yeah, he's probably yeah. the first footballer where what he's wearing was looked at, and that's only yeah, after no, he I got agree. Spice. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Footballers only used to really wear track suits and no, game I agree. day wear. But what I'm saying is, my point is, he was making baby steps to there already. Like he had a he had a hair gel. Uh, sponsorship deal because let's let's call a spade a spade when it came to footballers Beckham was head and shoulders in regards yeah. to how he looked yeah. but when heart. he got to with with Beck when he got to with uh, Posh he went clear yeah. but he was making by himself based off his football talent he was making his little yeah, no, 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 baby set but, but then he went clear when he got but yeah. then even then like there's certain things that would only really stay in the football realm if yeah, you know true. what I mean like, yeah. cause you're yeah. like because you're bringing yeah. you're bringing everyone else to the football. People are gonna be like, who's David Beckham? I know that's posh, but oh, David Beckham is a player for Man United. He wears a number seven. He does this, this, and that. He scored the free kick for England in 2002 that got them to the what to the World Cup. That's when people start. That's when his name starts really ringing. He out for me, he's the first global superstar yeah. he, player. He, he um, it was um. It, Alex Ferguson wasn't even feeling that whole relationship with. Nah, because he just thought it was distracting him, and yeah. he took. To, he had a point, and Bex was trying to. And to Bex's point, he was trying to keep it together. Because I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't gonna lie to you. Because like Bex is probably my top five favorite Manchester United players ever. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie to you because I always said to people like, look, there was more to Bex's game than just banging in a free kick or yeah. across. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie to you. When Bex said, 
So then I got told, oh, we're moving you on. And then he was like, and I was trying to get through to the man. I said, can I speak to Silex? He goes, nah, he's not, he's not available to talk right now. And I could see on his face, even now, that still hurts him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he couldn't, because he didn't want, Cause he, he would have like retired at like Manchester United. He was like his father, bro. He would have retired at Manchester United. He didn't like want to leave. father, man. And he was just like, oh. And he was like, well, look, if I'm going to go, I want to at least have the opportunity to choose the destination. And he was at Real Madrid. But it was bro. just like, when he's like, I was just trying to yeah, his peak. get the call, just to try. And he's like, I don't know if I could have convinced him to change his mind, but I just wanted to try and have that conversation with him. I was like, Bex, man. Let's talk about Galactic. Does he, does he know where he was initially going before he decided to say Real Madrid? No. Nah. Okay. They just said, no, they you're, they, you're available they in the market. To, they wanted to send him Barcelona first. Also, I've got, I've got another question. Yeah, I don't want yeah. to be... They wanted to, yeah, they've, got, they've got a history of buying Engl- a lot they, of English they, players. They wanted, to, they wanted to... It uh-huh. was in the dock. They wanted to get him out to Barcelona first. Okay. Also, also, and I've then got, it was the it was the guy from it was a guy from Real Madrid who was doing the Galactic whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Where he was like... I'm getting all the I'm getting yeah, the yeah. best from everywhere. But he and this is the thing. This is what this is what I was re- real about the doc as well. The guy from the guy who owned Real Madrid. I can't remember his name, but he was like Beckham is going to bring money to mm. this. He's not just it's not, Beckham. He understood the cachet in Beckham. He yeah. understood the lucrative deals and everything else that would happen when they signed Beckham. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like. Who was there flipping? Figo was there. Yeah, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Bruv. Zidane. Bruv. Zidane. I was like... Yeah. And bro, he's... it was mad. And they never won the Champions League. Man. But um, I have a question about Beckham. But I don't want to make this too football related. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah, after your question, we're moving on. Go on. But where do you think he'd play in today's game? He's he's still playing the same position. He play midfield on the right. You think he'd be as, as a right midfielder in today's Sent game? Yeah, there's, not really, there's not really right midfielders in the, the, the game anymore. Be, he, he, he wasn't fire, he, he, I don't think he was fast enough to be a winger, but he would st- he would be creative. He'd just be that creative I player. I think he mm. could play that quarterback, like that, that role he was playing for like PSG. What, in like the mid? final. But then, yeah. but then that was like towards the latter stage of his career. Yeah, he, but I think at uh, a 26-year-old, 27-year-old Beckham playing there, I think that's obviously run. like I don't think I don't really get to watch much of Beckham, yeah. so I'm not gonna say I knew his game. Yeah, know. but on the right side, him and him and Neville had that lock. Bro, Rebecca Luce, yeah. we all know her non bread was juicy with that name. Yeah, he beat. Yeah, he just didn't. I, I like how he. I like, I like how, how they. Do, I, like, I like how yeah, they yeah, moved yeah. off that. But he, oh. he he broke it down. It's like, look, man, I was in this new country by myself. Yeah, yeah. I was missing my wife. Da, da, da. He was yeah. basically saying like, look. A man got lonely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone said they'd scratched the itch. Yeah, he tumped it. He tumped it. He, it. he tumped moving. it a couple times. But the way they went with that story, yo, them people, they were aggressive. Like were paparazzi aggressive. and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they were aggressive. Yo, when you're making ch- kids cry, because yeah. he's with these kids and them, it's like, you look got relaxed, man. But <laughs> Are you, we, she for, Victoria for, forgave him. Of course she did. Yeah. I but shout, shout to, yo, did you catch the little uh, cameo shuffle at the end? Yeah. Oh, you haven't seen it? Oh, shit, sorry. Um, yeah, all right, cool. But anyway, if you haven't seen the, the documentary, go, go watch see. the, the, oh, the yeah, Beckham I saw, documentary. I saw one clip where she tried to lie about coming from a working class family. That was yeah. funny. Prev. That, yeah, that was funny. Prev, and he was like, per- don't lie. A man poked his head through the door, yeah? <laughs> what, tell him what car it was. Oh, yeah, to get driven around. Bro, what car was it? Yeah. Tell him. Oh, no. Wait, you know, you know, <laughs> tell him. You know the black house? Yeah, yeah. You just hit in your, in your mind. Like, well, she's chatting shit. What, yeah, what did yeah, you yeah, just no, say? Shout out to Bex, man. Keep it real to his roots, Especially from where he's from. Yeah, 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 yeah. Working class. like yeah, Humble beginnings. Yeah, Bex has, Bex has always been G. that guy. So shout out to you, Bex. And yeah. it, it, thank you for that love letter of, you know, like even breaking down the whole treble side of things yeah. to, the, to that goal against Greece. To, big up yourself, didn't Bex, know man. He, didn't know he ended up playing for AC Milan on loan. Yeah. And, and, and then PSG. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, you didn't know? Wait, yeah, what? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, this, I'm trying to say Was it, Wasn't AC Milan like after Madrid? No, it was during no, no, he, yeah. he, went no. To, he went to Galaxy. He went to Galaxy. And he went on loan to Madrid to... in the off-season <laughs> to stay fit. And Ronaldinho oh, yeah. was there. Um, and he was Ronaldinho, there. Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho, and, and, yeah. Ronaldinho he Pirlo. He played a few games and yeah, badded no, it up. Yeah, no, he it up still. Bro, that team, was, I think it was like Ronaldinho, Pirlo. Yeah, there was ballers in that Slatan, team still. maybe. I think so. There was ballers was in there. Was Thiago Silva? I think he played with Thiago Silva and Ibra at PSG, actually. And then he went to PSG. Yeah. And I th- want to say he kind of started the whole little thing that happened after. I was like, yeah, let's just get the big boys in. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. so shout out to Bex, man. Um, Check out that documentary. Yeah, even if you're not it's a fan dope. of football, you know who David Beckham is. And I think there's enough in there, even if you're not a fan of football, to keep you entertained. Yeah, jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. Yeah, jiggy, buddy, buddy, buddy. Why this week's Why Don't You Just Shut Up goes out to all the Bonehead rival fans who can see the wood between the trees, pause. We've spoken about this on this platform before. We had a segment on this season asking for the heads of the PG MOL, including Howard Webb. This isn't about tribalism or tit for tat. This is about continually calling out the incompetence and corruption of the referees who have governed our game in the Premier League. There's subjective decisions and then there's just fuckery. Something needs to change. Referees need to lose their jobs, get demoted to a lesser t league, or heavily fined, just like the managers and players who are unprofessional. Now, I segued away that because we were already on the football team. I also segued away that because when I put this particular subject into the group, I wanted to do a little, I don't know, a skit or a little, you know, in a, a little vibe to create the energy of what happened at the time when Luis Diaz scored the goal and it was offside and the whole thing behind the scenes at uh, Stockley Park kicked off. Drizzy said to me, fuck you, pussy. It ain't got nothing to do with me. That's your business. Liverpool fans, they moan. Then... I can confirm, then, as a member of the group chat, Drizzy did not say that. Then... Young Jay came in and interjected Pause. and said, I stand on, on that with Drizzy. Fuck you. No one gives a shit about what happens with you and VAR. We've had VAR calls and this and that. I was like, I did say that. I was like, cool. I was like, cool, guys. I get it. I get it. So, what I want to ask you guys is this there's tribalism. And just like I can watch the, the documentary based on, on David Beckham, who's a Man United player, and actually look at it from the standpoint of actually Donny was that's, Donny was a top guy. That's a low hanging fruit. And I res and I respect it. A retired ex man. <laughs> okay, carry on. And I respect it. Ooh, right? Danger. Yeah. I, can, I, I can then look at things objectively and go, look. Yes, the situation with us happened to us. But we have been talking on this particular platform at the Fast Food Podcast about the incompetence of the referees in the Premier League. So... Are you done? Jay first. Okay. Yesterday, when you beat Man City, yep. yes or no should Kovacic been sent off? Absolutely. What if you lost that game and Kovacic was the person who scored the goal and stayed on the pitch, what would you have done? I would have complained about it, but I would have moved on. Okay. Okay, cool. That's, that's, a, that's a good answer. That's a really good answer. Drizzy Sakafet Freckles, your time to speak. Okay. That's convenient. If you and I go to the same West Indian shop, right? You and I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And every time we've gone there, the first two times we've been there, Mm -hmm. We've gone there five times now. Yeah. The first two times we went to that West Indian shop, I did not get the level of service you got. You got immaculate service. I got some very rude backhanded service. Yeah. And I'm like, rah, that was really rude, you know? We run out. And it happened three more times in your presence. Mm -hmm. But you don't say nothing mm -hmm. because your service has been great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The one time you get bad service, you now contact me and be like, bro, you won't believe the service I've got at this West Indian shop. Bro, bro, bro. We need to unite like the Avengers and go make a complaint. Yeah. No, that's not... That, in fact, in hold fact, on, hold on, hold on. I've got a better argument for that. Hold on. Why, if I then say to you... Fuck you. Well, the times it's happened in your presence to me, yeah. you didn't say nothing, you didn't feel... You didn't even reach up like, yo, bro, that was messed up the service, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's happened to you. Why do you feel... I must feel obligated to get involved. Go ahead. Good question. And my answer to that question is because that particular situation was unprecedented, which means that this has never happened to any other team in the league, one. 
And it wasn't, it wasn't even about, for me, this is for me, it wasn't even about Spurs. I had no, I had no dog in the fight with Spurs because Spurs didn't do anything wrong. They, they won fair and square. In fact, it was an own goal that they that ended up being making it 2-1. So I haven't, got, they, I haven't got no beef with Spurs. My beef is always been with the referees, which is why when I mentioned in the Why Don't You Just Shut Up, we spoke about how a web and that fuckery that he's like, it's something that grates me as a whole. It has got nothing to do with football teams. It's got nothing. And I get it. I understand. Okay. I understand. No, wait, I understand. Where, I understand where you're coming from in the term, in terms of, because that's what everybody's been doing. Yeah, but it's my, like, my team has had five VAR instances in f five games where we've had a goal disallowed. So, but, no one. Okay. Ever reached that to me? Why didn't you go? For, why didn't you go knock off the knock off blocks? Because that's what we did. But I just, I just. But then that's that's the that's the, I think that's the point that Drizzy is trying to make. But, but Drizzy, no, 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 more. Just understand. Well, that's the point he's trying to make because yeah. it happens to every single team. It's happened to multiple teams this season already. But does that make that's, it right? No, 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 no. Does it make the, it right? That's not the point I'm making. This is Liverpool's first instance. Does it make no, it wait, right? Wait, 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 because I let you land. This is Liverpool's first instance this season. It's not, yeah? it's not, it's, and, it's not the first and, instance. And since VAR has been in the Premier League, it's not the first most instance. of the better decisions have gone in the way of Liverpool than any other team it's in the not, league. It's it's not, the numbers are there, I can pull it up. That's a lie. That's the numbers, a lie the numbers are there, I can bruv, pull it up. Bruv, bruv, pull it up. Bruv, dude, but bruv, what you've done is... No, but the thing Why is, are we lying? The thing that everyone's annoyed about is that Liverpool fans act as if the world is coming crashing down as soon as something happens to them. Okay, uh, all right, right. I'll take... Uh, Bruv, you've won a Champions League of a, bar, of a bad VAR decision. All right, have you finished? No. Go on. And, and, like, what, and what else? People need to understand, yeah? yeah? Bro, look at Wolves' first game of the season. They got done with fuckery. They had to move on from it. They didn't have a whole week mm -hmm. press conferences where everyone was just talking about Wolves not getting a penalty at Man United yeah. on the first game of the season. And, and you're comparing us to Wolves. That's another, that's another L. Don't so, compare us to Wolves. But not Wolves. Are you not both Premier League teams? Bruv, we're not the same. Are you not with Premier League teams? Bruv, you know what the name of this podcast is? We're just not... It's not the same, bruv. But, it's wait, not, wait, it's, wait, do you know wait. what? We started off the conversation with, with Drake and Hove. Then we went to J Michael Jackson and Drake. And now you're telling me about Wolves and Liverpool. No, what but I'm, 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 I'm making points here. What are we doing? Okay, cool. Let's look at United. United have had this little goals this season. What, are you going to tell me you and United aren't the same? All right, all right, if it is right, above right, you last right, season. This, all right, all right. Like, it's not about, it's not about the calibre of team, bro. Everyone in the Premier League is going to have bad okay, decisions, go not, for okay. them and go against okay. them. It doesn't matter if you're Billy Big Boots or Shangi the Shang Shang that, oh, that cleans right. boots or whatnot. It doesn't matter. Right. You're all Premier League teams. Bad decisions are going to go against you and are going to go for you. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're the same calibre of team that's got nothing to do with it. Okay. I make your counterpoint. All right, all right, you've made your point. All right, you've made your point. Okay. All right. Um, this is and and this is my and this is my gripe with the situation. My gripe with the situation is that it's nothing to do with football teams. The situation has got nothing to do with Arsenal. It's got nothing to do with Man United. It's got to do with corruption and unfairness and fuckery. So this is what I'm saying to you. It's, we can have subjective conversations about free kicks and penalties and red cards and yellow cards. We can have that. The referee makes a mistake or the referee said this, the referee said that. This was a game of football which was pinnacle and an offside was given. In fact, no, in fact, they waved offside and then in VAR, they said, no, let's check it. And then they said, check complete. And then not communicated the referee and the game has gone on, but we had a goal. So what I'm saying to you is, is if we all kick up fuss, you don't have to. But if Man United, let's, 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 put, let's just say Man United because Man United are a bigger club than your club. Um, if Man United... Your club too, what's your point? No, it's not. But, it, but let's, we, we're kicking up, we're gonna, if Man United <laughs> put a statement out... Thank you, Drizzy. Thank you. Bruv, Thank bruv, you. Bruv. Again, you he shouldn't be involved in the conversation if we're going to do this. If we're going to do this, let's do not do that and let's just continue with the conversation. Because Man United and Liverpool are the only two clubs in this, in this whole thing that's won it all hundreds of times. So let's not do that. If we're, going to do, if we're going to do Billy Big Bollocks, we'll just leave you out of it behind the camera. We'll do that, right? Anyway. Um, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about unfairness. And I feel like... <laughs> If Man United came out tomorrow and said, boy, 
PGMLO, PGMLOL need to fix up and we need this and we're going to investigate you and we're going to ask for this and we're going to ask for that. It just puts more pressure on the so referees. essentially, what you're saying to it me It puts is more pressure on the referees. So essentially, you're saying to me, next time any team has a situation where VAR does the wrong thing, you're going to act like this as well? If, uh, bro... And I'm, I'm asking a question, I'm asking a question, I'm asking a Listen to this, right? My, I don't... My my yeah, no, rival, issues, no, my rivalry my rivalry has only ever been with Man United and that's why Dr- Drizzy I understand why Drizzy comes at me the way he does because my we have a rivalry we don't have a rivalry with you you're not you're not with us you're not, you're not we don't have a rivalry me and me and Drizzy have a rivalry because of our teams right. But at the end of the day, when I remove it, and it's and it's and it's cool, and it's fair to say they rah, you've had decisions go and fought against you. But as I said, it's not about that. It's about the system that governs our football. And if it continues and people lose matches because of shoddy decisions since VAR's come in to to pop to to pop to come in since about four years ago. I even said on a lot on one episode before, I even gave Cardiff as an example. This is why I'm not biased. Cardiff, Cardiff was um, was relegated because they had decisions about three or four decisions at the end of their season and got relegated, and the decisions weren't checked. So you, so not only do you lose money, but you get relegated, and then your whole thing pops. This is more than just tribalism, and that's all my argument is. Okay, so okay, so I would appreciate if. Calling out, calling out something that happens to you lot. Because we've had five games in a row. We've had goals disallowed. Yeah. We had a goal disallowed against his boys. It was offside. Put us 2-1 up. Yeah, I remember that. It was that. deemed yeah, offside. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, but we've yeah. had a goal disallowed in five consecutive... We had a goal disallowed last this weekend just gone. Yeah, I saw that. But I don't... It's because it's it's us. I don't hear... It's just like... Yeah, but was it... But, all right, but was those... But was the goals techie, though? Was it a techie team? What was it? Was it clearly onside or what? Bro, I am so far removed from it. I don't even remember. I remember his... The one against them lot was like, all right, you know what? All right, cool. Because yeah. at first, I thought it was on. Then I see the clip where Gabriel jumps back. Yeah. And then... And it's like, all right, cool. I hold it. But it's just like... But if you're talking about a bigger picture thing then I'm 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 all down for That's it it's just I'm... the way you the way you reached out to me like <laughs> like like Thanos is on the way <laughs> and you came with the 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 Bruce Banner type of 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 uh warning and I was like well hang on a minute yeah. what we doing yeah it just you know what I'm saying if you said football the VAR the governing body in total Needs to be reviewed because this can't keep happening. But, but, I, but this it's is just, what I, it's, just yeah. that, it's just the timing on your tone. Yes, straight yeah, after the Liverpool game, which is which is which is why, yeah. if you noticed, I, I ended the conversation there because I was like, okay, we're gonna obviously have to pod. Yeah. So and this is why I left it to the conversation. We weren't today. we weren't getting on to you because we understand the vibe. Yeah. Today, but I think what me and G were pointing out. Our you main came with a certain that. entitlement about you, no, and then your manager's like, "We need I, to replay the game, motherfucker." For what? No, 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 no. We're not playing. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. So you see that point there. We're not that playing was, the game that again. Was, that was taken so out of context because yeah, he said essentially, game. best case scenario for him would be for the game to be replayed, but it's unrealistic. Yeah, it's not. We're not playing. He's got relax. He's yeah. he, he, no, 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 no. He wasn't saying that. He wants the game to be replayed. I know, but Klopp knows that how things are taken out of context these days. I wouldn't have even said that. And Klopp's known for saying stuff that comes back and bites him on the ass. Yeah, yeah, but so. also, like, I'm in agreement with Morgz here because it's like, I get what you mean. Like, the whole, like, VAR isn't the issue. VAR's probably one of the best things to come into football is the people operating it because they yeah. don't see issues with VAR in Italy, France, or Germany. I only see it here. Bro, they, bro, this is why these... And, and don't forget, yeah, you got to remember, these fucking referees, two, a week ago, went to, went to referee some game out in flipping... Dubai or something yeah. or, or Saudi Arabia or something like that. Like they're just moving. They're Bro, like moving, even moving. like even yesterday when you mentioned the Kovacic red card, yeah. Like the first one's a straight red by itself. Yeah. Then there's the same tackle again, yeah. And he didn't get sent off. No, but it wasn't even about Kovacic. It's just, bro. Man said straight, like Michael Oliver didn't even like pause and think maybe he should at least maybe go over or talk to Kovacic. Straight away, yeah. As players are going to him, he's like, "No, no, go away, go but he, away." But this, but this is my and this is my thing. If 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 that happened yesterday and you didn't win the game, 
that would have been a massive talking point. Yeah, it, of course. It would have been... Uh, of course, bro, of it course. would have been... AFTV then, would have gone then, off, one, bro. One thing for me is that, like... I don't think that Diaz goal stopped you from winning the game against Spurs. Yeah, but we could have got a point off that game. But that's no, but my thing is that I feel like... We beat Newcastle with 10 men. The thing the thing that messed you up is probably the, the, is the Jota red card more than the, the Diaz goal not ha- happening. Yeah, but who knows if that happens if we had scored that first goal. We don't know. We don't... No, again, then, you, you can't... Basically, bro, we can't foresee... We can't foresee the future. All, course, we, but, but all we do know, which is... Because we're not talking... All we can talk about is the facts. The facts of the no, matter yeah, is... No, but also, that was a goal. But then there's also other factors into the game when you look at it because it's like... You still went... It was still 1-1 at half time. Yeah, but... You still, had, you still had... So, 2-1 at half-time. Maybe, who knows? No, no. No, no, no cool. Yeah, 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 no. Maybe, who knows? Because you don't know what's going to happen if that goal, if that first goal comes. It was 1-0, for sure. Yeah, 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 cool. You see but what I'm saying? even then, like, after the game, even with nine men, there was aspects of the game where it was like... Like, Spurs needed luck in the end. That, but, this, but, but, like, for me, I think, I, think, I think the Jota... The Jota situation is more of a bigger talking point because I think that's that's poor. I think it is because it's because it's a subject because because the Jota thing is a subjective it's, thing. It's bro. two it's two yellow cards. It's two yellow cards he's given that neither of them are fouls. Well, but well, one of them no. The first the first the first Jota foul was rescind. They've rescinded that already. They said that was a yellow card. The second one, he but he can't. He, but once you get two yellow cards, you can't. They appealed it. They've appealed. No, they appealed Curtis Jones. You can't appeal two yellows. Oh, okay, okay. All right, uh, ladies, sorry about that yeah. last segment there. But anyway, yeah, let's yeah. keep moving. Yeah, listen, Fast Food Podcast, Morgan Heights, Drizzy Saka, Fett Freckles. This is uh, episode 16. I want to thank everybody for listening. Thank you for being here. I want to shout out Jojo Mantana. I want to shout out Young Jay for being here. Um, Drizzy Saka, Fett Freckles, any, anything that you need to say before we sign out, brother? Yeah, so uh, let's just end with another uh, takeaway. And this week's takeaway is the miracle isn't that you will finish. The miracle is that you had the courage to start. Miracle? The miracle isn't that you finished. Right. The miracle is that you had the courage to start. So take those words and try and uh, implement that into your, your day-to-day life or whatever goals you set to yourself. The fin- finishing is not the miracle. The miracle is you had the courage to kickstart and get the ball rolling. And I Love hope you that. can take that and implement that into your, your day-to-day life. Love that. Don't forget, people, we are on all DSPs, it's Google, iTunes, and Spotify. Also, our episodes are out two to three days after on our YouTube channel, which is Fast Food Podcast TV. We want to thank you, foodies, for listening. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. We're signing out. Peace. Peace.